Nation, what's going on, bros and bros? Look, man, this is with Junior. I trust all as well. Check my guy Ross Cross, man. He like ready, them. bro. Fruit man, room, I like them. Hey, the fruit roll, yeah, because you know what? That gives you energy, energy. man. Yeah, what you want? Oh, I, I probably grab one of those, yeah. man. I had breakfast. I hope I don't mess with my stomach, man. Yeah. <laughs> my bag ended up being brown. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yeah. stop by Walmart to get you some sleep, guys? Yeah, when we get down there, whatever y'all want to stop. You want to do that before we hit the house? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ross, let me see your sleeve guards, man. Like hey, them things look like tats, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> they look like tats, like a sleeve. Up, slide up. They just slide up your arm. Ooh. Bro, that is too cool, I man. Here, I oh, the sleeve guards here? I think it's where I got them. We, we're ahead of the curve, man. Ooh. Look at the fleet, y'all. Look at the fleet. Look at the fleet. This guy got shine clean, man. Yeah. I tried to clean equal, man. I don't know if I did good as a job as you guys. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, Ross got that black and that gross gloss black. Look at that one, man. The fleet. Yeah, yeah, man. The fleet, baby. Hey, I said, man, I looked, I said, that's disco. <laughs> yes, sir. I said, wipe it that bike, man. His bike name is Shine, man. I mean, and she live up to the name. Check it out, y'all. That's how we roll. Got the ice in there and the water. Man, so when we stop, water up and boom. Got more water in here. You got more? It all. Now, does that affect your turning or leaning or anything? I don't know. Does it? Okay, cool, cool. I don't know if we're doing tight corners, it might. Okay. It's way up. Yeah, but we'll, once, we be, uh, once we head to the Dragon, all that'll be, yeah, it'll be off anyway. What you got? <laughs> Big stick. Uh, oh, 20, the jumper. 20,000. And it's charging. I got a battery pack too, but bad ain't that big. Man. Woo. It won't charge when it's off. That's what I'm talking about. Back. Only when the bike runner? Yeah. Okay. What's up, man? So we about to stop by Walmart, get my guy some sleeve guards, and we hit this road, man. Hey, it feels so good. Are you a rider, bro? About to get the sleeves, y'all, and hop back on the bike and hit it. Jay Vake, man, in the building, man. What's up, bro? Ah! Ooh-wee. What's her name, Jay Vake? GG. 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 Good. Yeah, man. Oh. And this this hole pretty good, man? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you got the clamps. Oh, you got the zip. Oh, that's smart. You got the zip ties on there, Rose. Oh, all right. Man. Ooh man, we about to get it. We got J Bank. Look at this go roast the cross. Oh man. man. It was nice riding over here, but it's gonna get hot today, man. I can tell. How long you been here? 10-15 minutes. 10-15 minutes, okay. <laughs> Two snake venoms, bro! Two snake venoms! Alright, hey Disco, we gotta get snake venoms, man. Yeah, man. No, no, we we cool, we cool. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. And we just going for a tie. He come back with a whole new bike. <laughs> I think Ross the Cross uh, name us the Dream Team. Oh, Dream Team, man. Oh, wait a minute. I ain't seen this helmet before. Hey, yeah, I had his on. Uh, nice. Thank you guys for the big Thank you, big time. Right on, man. Hey, we the dream team, man. We the dream team. Oh, pass me the ball. I can't, I can't hoop to save my life, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, two street glass, two road glass, baby. Yeah. Hey, Ross, we the street glass, man. We gotta get them. All right, y'all, we got two street glass. We got two street glass and two road glass. Pray for us. <laughs>
South Carolina, let's have a quick talk, man. These roads in South Carolina, man, look, I, I, I kid you not. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm just telling you guys as bikers, man, so if you guys want to travel. First of all, I've never been this far in South Carolina uh, because we still in South Carolina, right? Okay. I, I never been this far, man. See, I never been this far in South Carolina. Debris was everywhere. A huge tire right in the middle of the road. My guy Jay Bake pointed to it. How you doing, Jay? <laughs> and I saw that and I was like this. And then my guy Disco was like, yeah, he dodged that tire real good. Did you dodge that tire, Ross? I dodged it. Okay. <laughs> and then I've never seen a tree limb on like hanging from the tree into the actual highway area because I like to ride like on the side of the uh, lines, you know what I'm saying? Like either far left or far right. I always like imagine me doing like suicide riding. That kind of helped me riding. And next thing you know, I see this branch. And I said to myself, as I'm approaching this branch now, I'm like, clearly this branch is not hanging over into the highway area. And I'll be, yes it is. Man, that thing said, boom. Man, hit my whole leg here. It, uh, man. So, you know, I'm okay, I don't need medic, but Ross, you got band-aids in case I do, right? Got yeah. <laughs> you got a first aid? Yeah. <laughs> Pick this out, my guy, Jay Bate. Man, Jay got a way of telling you to speed up, right? So I thought I was doing good in the zone. Jay passed me like, <laughs> Jay like, come on, man, come on, man. Man, cause I, I I don't know like how everybody's riding, but I see now everybody don't mind getting it now. So we, we can get it, man. Bros and bros, we back on the road, man. We know everybody riding style now, so it's on. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let me grab a water, Ross. My guy Ross, man, got the water on deck. Got the, the fruit, what is it, fruit uh? I got two kinds. Two kinds of water? No. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know Jay Bake showed y'all the fleet, man, but check us out, man. Yeah. My guy Jay made me a word, so we got two road glides and two street glides, man. But then there's two snake venoms. Uh, yeah, I probably hold, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, chug this water now, bro. I'm gonna show you this rest of that space and when we stop by next stop. <laughs> yeah. Get some grub. What's it? Oh yeah, yeah, not chewing gum. Yeah, man. Get that mean you want. Oh, just one good. That that keeps me in the zone. Oh man, that chewing gum. Oh yeah. Hey, I start eating this chewing gum, make me want to do another IBA. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we made our next stop. Hey, we must be in North Carolina now, right? No, I get almost. You sure? Because I saw some say exit one. I was like, oh. Oh, it, uh, this is still South Carolina. It's still South oh, it is? Carolina. Okay. I think so. Yeah, exit one from South Carolina. I don't think we've gone into North Carolina yet. No, like, I don't think so. This is down the street here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're still in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. See, well, we, we right at it. We're right at North Carolina. We're just say one. Uh, well, See, that kind of like kind of confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> We on the line right there. Uh -huh. Oh! Yeah, we right. I know we right at it. Hey man, look, the dream team right here. Man, I I, I gotta give a huge two thumbs up, man. I'm trying to find myself, man, y'all. Lord Jesus, I thought I was light skinned No. <laughs> Bros and bro ass. God is good, man. So we're on I twenty six. I think that was I twenty six. Hold on. Hey guys, was that I-26 that I stopped, that the bike broke down? Oh, thank you, I, yeah. So, yes, you heard it right, bros and bros. My bike broke down. What? We on I-26, right? And you know what I'm saying? I'm getting it, right? I'm leading the pack, so I'm just like, Whoa! you know what I'm saying, going like 40, 50 miles. Now, <laughs> man, look, we are getting it, right? The dream team, and we like in formation, everything good. Bro. When I went to hit my throttle, you know what I'm saying? Because I was already at like a nice speed. I wanted to take it higher. Man, there was no reaction from my throttle. The whole bike, I kid you not, bros and bros, shut down on me, man. I said, oh, Lord. So I had no more throttle. I had to work my way over because, you know, I always ride the left lane. I had to work my way over to the right lane and then the emergency lane. And the crew pulled over with me. And we all looking at the bike. I'm like, okay, it must be hot. You know what I'm saying? Because... I mean, I guess some Harleys do that, but I, I, in the back of my mind, I was like, this is a 2020, man. If it runs high, did it shut off like this? Well, man, I, I, I panicked, bros and bros, because 
I never had that happen before. That is not a good feeling. So if you ever been on the side of the road with your motorcycle, I feel your pain, bros and bros. It is not a good feeling like at all. So what I did, man, I called my guy Slick with Black King. Slick, if you're watching this bro too, huge thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again, man. My guy Slick was like, okay, read the codes out to me. So I read the codes to him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He said, it is your, uh, cause the bike went limp. Thank God I didn't name my, thank God I didn't name my bike Willie. Cause you know what I'm saying? Willie went limp. But anywho, he said, bro, it's your uh, sensor. I said my sensor, the sensor bros and bros. Let me show you guys real quick. It's right underneath the, uh, uh, the filter or the breather, right? So let me show y'all, man. Check this out. Ooh, we got all these hogs right here. So this, that little thing right, let me see, hold on, can you guys see that? That little guy right there, bros and broettes, right there. He said, yeah, man, it's reading your uh, sensor code that, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's saying that the something's uh, faulty with the air filter. I said, what? And it literally shut the whole bike down, y'all. I think when I put my filter on late last night, I might have hit it. I'm not even sure though, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was looking at the filter like, all right, it's good to go, it's good to go. I might have thumped it or something. And then by, you know what I'm saying? All these uh, South Carolina bumps and all this other stuff. Wait, quick sidebar. I have to say, as we got further in South Carolina, the roads got better. So I don't know what happened. I'm just glad it happened, all right? But I don't know if it just vibrated or loose or not or what, but that's what the code was reading. So my guy slick with a, uh, Black Kings MC, you know what I'm saying? He was like, what's under your filter, the sensor? Bro, the sensor was loose. So I connected, right, with like a full connection. <laughs> Baby started right up, man. I was like, oh, equal, thank God. Cause I was always like, I, not always. I was already thinking like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and 86 equal, gonna get the CVO. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> but bros and bros, real talk, man, that, was an experience within itself. So when I told my guys, Jay, Jay Bate ran to his bike and guess what? His sensor was loose too. So it was a matter of time before his bike shut down. So he tightened up his sensor. He said his was really loose. And uh, everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Check theirs. I need to check my guy Disco. Disco said he not sure his is under there, but I, I know it should be. Let me see. I know these guys are like, come on, Woody, eat. But I gotta talk to Wood Nation, man. All right, let me see. Oh, his probably is under there. See, he has the standard, so that probably cover everything. Okay, yep, he just probably have to move this here. All right, yeah, yeah. But uh, man, that is a scary moment. So, man, if whoever bike has broken down in time past, and you guys are on the side of the road, it is not a good feeling, man. It's really not. However, it is a great feeling when your bike is finally working, whether it's through the dealer or you. You know what I'm saying? You kind of rigged it or you, you know, found the problem. That's a great feeling too. So, man, look, let me show you guys. Then I'm gonna let y'all go because I gotta eat. Man, I was hitting this throttle here going back and forth. Nothing was happening. I mean, the bike literally went limp mode. Oh God, it's good. Oh, not only that, every other, every cold came on too, man. This has never happened while I've been on the road, man. Oh. And all I kept thinking, I was like, well, thank God I'm not doing the IBA. Or you know what I'm saying, I, I don't have wifey with me. It's me and the fella, so you know what I'm saying, I can rough it out, it's all good. I ain't want wifey with me and something like this happen. But now, I know what to look for. What's up, Wilkerson? We're in Atlanta, South Carolina. You're welcome. Right on. All right. Okay, so I'll get, a, I'll get a number one. <laughs> I don't know. What, Nation, what's going on, bros and bros? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys know my experience later. But I have some awesome people here. I got my guy Elvis. What's up, Elvis? Keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> and his wife, Elvis. No. <laughs> Stacy. Now, Stacy, can you tell them what you did, Stacy? The 1524. So the BBG. Yes. Went around Lake Michigan first, and then went out to Iowa and back. Now, wait, Stacy, tell them. You actually did the IVA. You didn't just go for a ride and Correct. challenge yourself. Correct. She has the actual plate. proof yes. to prove it. Oh, wait, do you have it on your plate? I do no. not, because it doesn't fit under the plate. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Not an IVA unless it's certified. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you my man. That, that is so true. It's not an IVA unless it's certified. And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> you may have gone a thousand miles, but you didn't iron butt. <laughs> exactly. Wow. And this is Stacy's bike here, man. She did the iron butt challenge 24 hours, 1500 miles in under 24 hours. 
on this beauty right here. But wait, Wood Nation, there's more. Where did you guys travel from to be with us today? Chicago. 20 miles west of Chicago. Look at that, man. Come on, man. We ain't playing no games in Wood Nation. But she looks good. What's her name, Stacy? What's? Oh, it's Mama Shark. Mama Shark. And where's yours at, Ellis? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you got some riders, man. If you're filming, you got to look at the ship like Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, Mama Shark. <laughs> Now that is two thumbs up, huh? They pull up and they can't say they can't. Hey. Oh, man! Ah! What's up, man? man this is man. Yeah, they pull up and they say they can't, can't take no more. No, man. Man is the man that said, make memories, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, back to Elvis. <laughs> Elvis, what's the name of your bike, man? Yeah. The Red Rock? The Red Rocket. Somebody, somewhere under here. Hold on, man. It's red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you got a stage. What stage do you have on there? Just one. Oh, same, same here, man. Same I the, here. I got the stage three Rockford system, though. What? So Music. Music's more important than motor. This is so true, man. <laughs> so how fast can you get before it starts to kind of blot out? It never blots out. It's so, Seriously? This is so loud, it hurts your ears. Even it, at like 75, 85? It, you can't go, you can't drive past the sound, man. It's insane. Wow. How That's many watts is your amp? amp? Uh, 400. It, well, they call it 400, but they're Ooh, nice. They're almost six. Oh, seriously? Yeah. When you buy the system, it's got a birth certificate and it tells you how much it tested at. Uh huh. So it's a 400 watt amp, and it tested at 597. Get out, bro. Yeah, it'll hurt you. It's got, I mean, they're they're six by nines. They're not the five by seven. So. Oh yeah, now that makes the difference. Yeah. So do you hear more treble, more bass, or uh, a little bit of both? both. Okay. Both. I'm not Dan with the orange subwoofer or nothing. But yeah. <laughs> Shouts out. Oh, you talking about Ken? My guy Ken. Yeah, thank you. Hey, what's up? Shouts out to my guy Ken, man. Hey, Michael, this is you. Yep. What, what's, what, what's the bike name, Michael? Mistress. Mistress? Yep. Oh, that is nice, man. This is my mistress. <laughs> Wait a minute, your bike is named Mistress. My guy, uh, Cook, my, not Cookie, but my guy Chili, which is the president of um, Soldiers United, his bike is named Side Piece. <laughs> wow, look at Mistress. Smooth ride right in. 2019. Nice. I have, I haven't, okay. I'm glad I came down uh -huh. with these guys. I haven't read Twisted New York. I've got the LIE, the Southern State, uh -huh. and all this, so riding like this was beautiful. Oh, who'd you ride down with? Papa D. Oh, Papa D, where Papa D at? We all, met in, we all met in Boone this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, man, that was, I bet that was a beautiful ride. It was. Blue Ridge Parkway. What, we did Blue Ridge Parkway? Nice and cool. Yeah, Blue, we did, I mean, we did, we did the, the Gambler. Oh, the, the Gambler. What? Yeah. If it's twisty, we rode on it. Yeah. Papa D is like a tour guide, dude. Yeah, I'm telling like, you, man. Two, I said, but I, I haven't ridden some of them twisty, but I was like, okay. <laughs> I kept telling her, I said, yeah, girl, you're doing good. <laughs> dude, let me tell you. I understand about the twisties. I literally was going to park my bike and just catch a taxi or an Uber back home. Man, we were doing so <laughs> many switchbacks. It's like I got cross-sided. And then I was like, okay, focus, focus. I thought we'd be out of a turn, but 30 seconds later, we're still in the same turn. Well, I turned around and I said, I realized, I said, down here, speed limits mean something. Yeah. <laughs> New York, it's a, it's a suggestion. <laughs> you know, my friend is the smallest guy in the bomb squad. Oh, nice. Six, seven. <laughs> Looks small. Yeah. Yeah. About his size. How tall are you, Elvis? Six and a half. Oh, there you go, man. We were riding one time and got guys got pulled over. Uh-oh. Small cop. Uh-huh. So, pull over. License, <laughs> registration. Is there that? Al, oh, Al pulls over, too. Yeah. So, he starts talking and told me, oh, I'm on the floor, too. What are you? He hands him bomb squad. Guy looks at it. Looks at the buddies, gave them their stuff back. Just take it easy. Wow, and nice! Like, how can, you can't trump bomb squad. You can't, no matter what. Exactly. Can you give me a card? My address is 5807. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Ah! <laughs> Good to see man, you, man. Papa D, thank you for uh, putting this together, bro. Oh, man, we done this together. I know, but you're the man. You're the tour guide <laughs> guy. You you are we, the man. We're going to have a blast. I, that's what I told everybody, we're man. We're going to have a blast. See, this is fine. This this doesn't intimidate me here, man. If it was a lot of more other bikes, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm now, going home. We're going to have about 20 total. Oh, no. Yes. No. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Uh, we got to send some people back home. MJ no. didn't come. <laughs> MJ didn't come. Yeah. Bo and Karen, they're in a trike. They brought a car. Okay. They're going to dinner. I've got my buddy um, Nelson, 
He and his wife were on his bike and they got two other riders with him. So I think that's three bikes. Oh. I had 20 people total best I can figure. Okay. You know, I wasn't sure how many, we had what, 10 people show up this morning, nine? Really? And uh, Man, you had a big group, brother. Yeah, and uh, so a couple of people just rode with us for part of the way. So I've got a friend that used to work with me, John Weaver. He rode the morning and he went back yeah. home. He lives in Ash County. Then okay. um, uh, Bart and Jared that live over in Tennessee, Okay. They came in road until just about an hour ago. I want to apologize to every biker. Every biker gave me the biker wave. I was so I was so frantic. I kept both hands on the bar. Me too. On the hand grips. I, I just couldn't let it go, man. This was like I've never experienced. I went to Sturgis and I did Iron Mile Un and I did uh Needles Highway. I've never experienced nothing like this. This is like five minutes later, rural, 10 minutes later, rural. We were on a curve, man, for like 30 seconds. You said, what the world? And then when the cars come, I'm tempted to look at oncoming traffic, but I know if I look at it, I'm gonna connect with you. I wanted to give the sign, brother. You threw the car. Okay. We did like Buck Creek, I think it was. One of them was a cliff. Like this. Oh, yeah. See? Oh no! <laughs> See, that's why I would have just canceled. Oh my God! No, no, no. So we can't go through that again. No. So, so, so you know, tomorrow we're gonna ride the dragon. Yes. Go over to Smoky Mountain, get lunch, and then ride Cherry Halo. Okay. So we'll, we'll talk about it when we all socialize tonight. But I want everybody to know where we're stopping tomorrow, because especially the dragon. We'll go to the Bills Gap Motorcycle Resort. Everybody yeah. get their picture and get their T-shirt, whatever they want to get souvenirs. Yeah. And leave at your own pace. Instead of riding across there as a group on the dragon, mm -hmm. I would rather everybody just kind of go and we're gonna meet on the other side as a t-shirt shop. I'm following you, man. I don't oh, know what to do. Me. Okay. Me, baby. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> good, I'm good. Not gonna, I hadn't ridden anything today hard. Um, and this is his backyard, hard. guys. Yeah. So this so, is your backyard too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? We, we're gonna ride uh, that. Where are you from? Lawrence, South Carolina. And then uh, Sunday, when you came, well, when you came up here right before you turned on 129. Yeah. Uh, no, y'all came, y'all came 143. Never mind, y'all didn't come this way. Y'all went a different way across the mountain over here than we did. Yes. Either way, we're gonna go back up here and hit the Waya Road, which is uh, it doesn't have as many curves as the Dragon, but the ones oh, it good. has are good. just as technical. But it goes beside a lake. We'll go to Franklin. Okay. And to get on the other side of Franklin, we'll take it's 64 and 28. But it is. I'm gonna warn you now. Oh lord! But what I, you can't go fast on it, just so you know that. Okay. I definitely ain't going but fast. But it, it is Man. It literally, it is literally. <laughs> there's a cliff here because you're coming up to a waterfall in front of you. Okay. So the waterfall drops down to the cliffs beside of you. But it's beautiful. What? It's beautiful. And then oh, so, Jesus, so we're gonna see man. five waterfalls. Uh -huh. We'll be able to stop at least one of them. I know there's a parking lot we can stop. It's called Dry Falls. We can walk down and you can go behind it. That's why it's called Dry Falls. It's a big uh, waterfall. Oh, you big got it planned area. out, man. Um, and then the next one, the Bridal Veil Falls, the road used to go behind it. And the road's still there, but I don't think as many bikes as we have will be able to stop there. So I just pointed out. The other ones, I'm just going to go, Come look, on. look, look, look. Look at here, big guy. <laughs> uh, check this out, Wood Nation bros and bros. This is room 11. All right. It's me and my guy. Check it out, man. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to see how do I get in the garage, though. She said there's a button. Right here. Ah! <laughs> Check that out, yo. So our garage is opening up. Look at that, man. Whoa! Is that the this is the googly woogly googly. Ah! Man. How cool is that? That's all right, ain't it? That is all right, man. Hey, man, we rich, we doing big things, baby. Where you at, Ross the Crow? Right here. Ah, let me check you out, Ross. Oh, thank you, man. You got AC? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you got AC? No. Ah, look, he doing like you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we using on that thing, man. <laughs> Ross, check this out, man. Man, how cool. This, this is some new level stuff, man. At least to me. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. Bro. Yeah. And now I got to spray my bike, man. Look at my guy, Van, man. Woo. What was her name again, Van? This is Chaos. 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 And you got stage four on there? Two? Stage four. Stage four? Hey, that's, that's why it's chaos. Ha ha. Oh, that's the new one? No, this is the same one. Yeah. Wait, because you said you had two bikes. The CVO. 
Three. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> man, man. Seven nights. Huh? No. Eight. No. Man. There he is. I got Michael. Man, this guy Michael rode all the way from Queens, New York, man. That's what's up. Queens, New York, bro. If you guys are ever in Robinsonville, North Carolina, man. Tail of the Dragon. Tail of the Dragon. Y'all got to check out Two Wheel Inn, man. Look at this. You get your own personal garage and your room next to it. And the button, my guy Disco found the button. The button is actually right there. And then the garage go up. How cool is that? I got my neighbor right here. You in there, Michael? Yep. There go my guy, Michael. All right, Hello, got my... Yeah! Look at that, I got my neighbor. So check it out. I'm, I'm here in front of my hotel there. And I could be like, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm great, man. How about you? All right, man. You got some lemonade over there? Yeah, uh, man, I'm going to go get some. Hey, Duncan, what's going on, man? Where the sweet tea, Duncan? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to get an Arnold Palmer. No, you're supposed to get an Obama. There it is. <laughs> That's too much sweet. <laughs> 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 Disco, what's going on, man? Go pull up a chair, man. Not much, not much. Oh, man, now I need a long straw. I need a long straw to put in my mouth, man. Just chew on the straw. You know what people say, sit down and see how far you come. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say it again, Disco. <laughs> I know what people say, sit down and see how far you come. There it is. Hey, what else they say? I ain't shaking no trees, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, look at my neighbor over there. Hey, Ross, how you doing? Oh, man, we got a white neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that yo, you and Ross going to be salt and pepper. Yeah, we're going to be salt and pepper. Hey, Ross is actually pepper, believe it or not. <laughs> we got our neighbors, man. What's up, Jay? Hey, Jay is our rich neighbor, guys. You know, all us ride bikes. Then we got my guy Michael over there, man. Michael's from uh, uh, Queens. Yep, and Michael actually told me something today that he's rich, man. So that's pretty cool. Not yet. Not yet. I ain't got nothing yet. Huh? Hey, check it out. What's up, y'all? Not yet. Hey, something. What is it? Southern Throttle. Hey, this this our neighborhood, man. This is our backyard. We in the sticks. Don't they call it the sticks? Team Southern Throttle. Team Southern Throttle. Woo. We we in the sticks. We in the sticks. That's what. Yeah. All right, well, next year we all about to go get us some grub, man. Has a challenge going. Yeah, yeah, Let me get one. Home. No. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, you buy dinner tonight. I made to put it on my uh, okay. thing right here. My guy got his, Papa D. Now, not for nothing. John, okay. Who told everybody about the two challenge coins you're going to get tomorrow because we told you yeah. about it? Yeah, that's true. Okay, man, I got his. Ooh, look at that. Michael, show off, Michael. I got two. my chain on the on the. Where you at, Jay? Jay got his. Oh, Rose, where's the challenge going? Oh, Rose. Rose got dinner. Uh-oh, where you at, Stacey? What are we supposed to do? We didn't know we were supposed to carry a challenge card. Disco. My guy, Van. What's your name? Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, Dutch? Duncan. Duncan. I got the only way I can remember that is Duncan Hines. Okay. Duncan. And then Michael. Then uh, he, I'm not sure you saw Ross the Cross the time you or two. Ross yeah. <laughs> Ross the Cross. This Mike, man. Wait, two Michaels, man. Okay. <laughs> We're uh, uh, we're Jay. Oh, okay. Man. That's Jay Bake Southern Cycle. Wait, Southern. Wait, Southern Throttle. Southern Throttle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already know he already. Know. <laughs> man, he got caught in the rain, y'all, and it's still here. Let me show y'all custom dynamics. <laughs> Look at that, man. Hey, man, if somebody run in the back of you, they got to be blind. <laughs> 107. Oh, we got 107. That's that torque. Ooh. Got that torque, man. That's that torque, monster. Man. Hey! Oh yeah! Yes sir! What year is the mic? 19. 
19. Got the heel toe. Oh, Mikey, you was doing good, man. No. <laughs> you like the heel toe for real? Yes. Woo! Oh, come on, not you too, man. Oh, man, the vampire is out. I get confused, I thought I was using the heel toe. <laughs> you, 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 you use it like, exactly. I one on the other no, I had the heel toe. So you got the heel toe? I found it, I'm like. Mike, Mike, you ain't got no heel toe, do you? I took it off. There you go, my man. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got yeah. a heel toe, man? Yeah, man. Once you get used to it, you got to get used to it. Wood Nation, after a wonderful day of riding, uh, Fallen Papa D, he took us on some wonderful rides. We went and ate, got back here to the hotel, and as Mother Nature has it, yep. tree fell, knocked the line down. So we all sitting in the hotel parking lot, <laughs> <laughs> waiting much. to try to get in the rooms. But yep. that's just life, and that's God's. Yeah, man, he, so he, yeah. And we have no way of getting in the room, no right, way man? Of getting in the room other than knocking the wind out, and I don't. Yeah. Think, <laughs> I don't think they want us to do that. At least not yet. Not no. yet. <laughs> hey, wifey, I have Karen here and Bo. Karen hey. wanted to say something to you guys. Now, the hotel we have no lights, so that's why we can't hardly see. But we see Karen. <laughs> Go ahead, you want to talk to wifey? Hey, sweetheart, I love your YouTube. I love when you talk about the Lord. I've got my John 3, 16 book I'm reading right now, and I wish you had been here with me. We could have talked about Jesus and loved on each other and met a good sister. Love you. Wish you were here. Oh, but we got to shake again. <laughs> what, Nation, what's going on, bros and bros? Look, man, if you guys haven't already noticed, man, I'm going to make this one huge video, man. You know, you don't get the part one, part two, phase three for me, man. Especially on nice events like this. Woo! But I tell you, man, yesterday was an experience, all right, from my bike going into limp mode on the highway, bros and bros, on the highway. So, man, thank God, like I said, once again, for my guy, uh, uh, uh my guy Slick, man, with the uh, Black Kings. Whew, it's got me the glory, man. Got me right. So, man, y'all check y'all sensors out there, man, for real. Man, blow them things out, check them, make sure they connected. My guys check theirs. Woo, the things was loose, man. So that, and then, you know what I'm saying? These turns, look here, this is where we're at, guys. Two wheel in, and uh, let me show you guys. Well, you probably can't. Uh-oh, hang on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hang on. There we go. So you guys, look, it looks so peaceful out here, which it is. But man, these roads have such tight turns and curves. Back roads is not my forte, man. So that's one of the main reasons, you know what I'm saying, of me coming here and me and my guy Papa D putting this together. I want to overcome that, let's just call it fear. You know what I'm saying? That fear, anxiety, of riding the back roads and of the what if factor. Now, I will say this, another thing happened yesterday. So there was a truck yesterday, right? Now, let's say this is two lane, this is only one lane. Let's say if this is the second lane. Now, we're traveling in the outer ring area, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, bikers like to stay in the far left lane. And we're coming up on this truck and we're thinking the truck is moving, moving. This truck is at a standstill. My guy Jay Bay at the last minute, boom, dips right. And then of course I see him and follow suit. And then, you know what I'm saying? My guy, uh, Ross across the disco, everybody follow suit. We were that close from making contact with the truck. Why? Because the dude was just posted right there. Now, could that have happened on the highway? It is definitely possible but i'm just more comfortable on the highway however you guys got to give me a little credit man i am all the way here in south wait not south well south and north carolina i'm all the way here in north carolina to overcome my fear of backyard riding you know what i'm saying and the curves and turns now for the most part i think i've been doing good man because sometimes you know what I'm saying, you can kind of get in your own head and kind of you know what i'm saying maximize something that's not even an issue so I'm learning, man, on these curves and turns. Just glide with it. Just follow the bike. Do what the bike do. Man, this dude, Jay Bake, I'm telling you, man, if y'all would have saw this dude, man, it's like he stayed up the street. This dude just whoom, had his music going. I'm like, oh, I want to be like that. You know? I could have gave you guys some really great footage yesterday with the leans and the curves and the turns, but... I didn't want to remove my hand from them handlebars, man. Like I said yesterday, man, even the bikers, man, bikers was coming by, were riding by, waving. I, 
I, I, I didn't want to let that hand go. So I'm getting more, you know, I'm getting used to just being a little more comfortable. And uh, so, you know what I'm saying, a group went out to uh, eat yesterday. Shouts out to my guy, uh, Papa D. Rise. Man, y'all got to check my guy's YouTube channel out. When I say this dude is like the man, he is the king of tour guys. Like, this is his backyard, man. I mean, man, look, this, this dude is cool, man. So, we rolled out to uh, Lane's place to get something to eat. And man, there was a storm yesterday. One of the tree branches fell and the uh, transformer popped while we were sitting there eating. The power in the uh, restaurant went out, came back on. So, you know what I'm saying? We were able to make it back to the hotel safely. Thank God. Streets are all wet. And then we get to the hotel. All the power is out at the hotel. The power just came back on at 5 in the morning. Man, what? So we had to sleep with the windows open, everybody talking to each other in the pier dark. And guess what? That was a great experience because sometimes, let's be honest, bros and broettes, me too, we're kind of spoiled as bikers, man. We're, we're, we're kind of spoiled as bikers. Let's just be honest, man, because the bike do everything. So, you know, we want our five-star hotel. We want our lobster, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that sounds good. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good just to rough house it. And we roughed it yesterday and it felt pretty good. It felt good. Gotta give a huge two thumbs up to uh, Elvis and Stacy, Bro, coming all the way from Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Just to come ride with us and have fun, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. When you are a good person, you attract good people. Those are great people, man. My guy Michael coming from New York. My guy Mike come from Gainesville, Florida. Man, if y'all would've saw the way Mike pulled, pulled up in here last night, Mike pulled up in here like he just saw the face of God. <laughs> Mike, hey, listen, when Mike pulled up in here, man, Mike didn't let his hands off the handlebars for like 30 seconds. And he said, well, Junior, I said, yeah, that's me. What's up, man? He said, I'm a Wood Nation supporter. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike was saying in essence, man, I done rode through that storm. I hope this is worth it. Mike, it very well is worth it, bro. I'm telling you, my guy Mike coming from Gainesville, Florida. I know y'all like, well, that ain't far. That's pretty far, bros and bros. And not only that, he came in this treacherous weather, man. Like, it was raining and coming down so bad. He said he barely was able to see, you know, you know, these are the yellow lines here, man. But, you know, you got the little white lines. He said he was barely able to see the white lines just to kind of follow the road. Now, that's, that's some riding right there, man. So the question is, bros and bros, are you a rider, bro? Are you a rider, bro? What are you? These guys are riders, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you have a motorcycle, you are a rider. Now, there's a difference between long distance riders. These guys are long distance riders. My guy, a uh, van coming all the way from North Carolina. And I know y'all like, well, that ain't really far, but he's like, he come from four hours to here. You know what I'm saying? So that's three, four hours. Then my guy kicks in Harley, Virgil, him and his guy coming all the way from Columbus, Georgia. Man, bro. These cats are doing some riding, man. My guy Jay Bate coming from South Carolina. <laughs> you know, shoot, me and my guy Ross the Cross coming from Savannah, Georgia. Oh, man. Disco, South Carolina. Uh, Shouts out to Bo and his wife, man. They're awesome people, man. They have a beautiful trike, man. Dude, we had a great time last night just talking with the power off. No camera. I mean, just everybody just talking and just having such a great time. And that's what it's about, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, oh, I didn't even tell you guys this, man. That's why I say, man, sometimes we're spoiled as bikers. So five of the AC units is also out. And our room is one of the rooms that's affected. But the young lady said, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the AC units arrive today and they're able to install them today. So, man, she, uh, <laughs> she bought us some fans from Walmart. <laughs> Bro. We can't be spoiled as bikers all the time. We got to rough house it. And not only that, this hill is looking so tempted, man, for me just to roll down. I, I, I kept you not. I kept eyeing this hill. Look at this, man. I won't mind rolling down this hill, man. Hey, look, we're about to meet up with the fellas, man, and uh, see who's up, see who's awake, see who's on it. And uh, we're about to get this day started, man. I mean, we took literally, real talk, bros and bros, yesterday we took a whole lot of lemons Man, it made some sweet lemonade. And man, let me tell you, it was good, man. It was good. So this is beautiful, man. I just love the camaraderie, the just the brotherhood, and just everybody just brotherhood, sisterhood, you know? Everybody just having a good time, man. So 
All right, let's see. Let's see who all up. What's up? The crew up. I got Duchess. What's up, man? What's up? Is it Duchess, right? Duncan. Duncan. Oh my gosh. You done all that talking we did last night. I would have remembered. Roast the crows. <laughs> Wait, is that coffee you got? You know it. Wait, how did you get coffee? That is a oh. thing. You want some coffee? Well, no, but it looks good. <laughs> hey, the power came on at five in the morning today. Look at the same shirts. Oh, That's man. Right, baby. <laughs> my God. Right. You got good taste, man. Morning, fellas. <laughs> Good morning, man. Papa D. Thank you, buddy. Good. I was concerned. Were you able to get your rest and everything you needed? You know what? I rested well. I asked the Lord to help me sleep well last night. I got a little travel fan, right? So yeah. The battery operator had the batteries. But my battery pack for my drone, I was able to plug it in with a USB port, turn my little fan on. Now my, my CPAP, no. Oh, good. Okay. But but, but I, I rested better. At least I feel like I rested well. Hallelujah. That's because I'm we'll a unit tour guy. Mike! What's up, man? Yeah, hey, this is Mike who I was telling y'all about, man. When he pulled up, looked like he saw the face of God, man. <laughs> Like I told you, you was like this for like 10 seconds, man. Woo! What's up, man? Hey, man? This is Bo right here, hey. guys. Bo, hey, right? Guys. Hey, Wood Nation. Woo, there he is, man. Him, him and his wife. Where's you guys trike at? Oh, this is trike over there, guys. Let me show you his trike. But this is Mike from Gainesville, Florida, man. My guy right there, man. All right, where, where's it at? Stacy! Are you, are you recognize the shirt? <laughs> only have like three of them. No, it's only one. <laughs> this is Bob the Trike Man, who I was talking about. This is beautiful. Gosh. Elvis! What's up, man? Uh, Elvis is like six foot 12, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even a six foot 12. If you didn't see the video, he shows up <laughs> to the dealership in a thermal and a jacket. <laughs> I, I did see that video. I did see that video. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just like, let's be warm and let's be, you, you know, Florida. Snow. In really, Florida, yeah. You didn't really throw that yeah. away at the dealership, did you? I did, dude. I threw it right in the bathroom. Like, I was like, ploosh. I, I was watching every day going, anytime we get on the bike, he's going to be buying clothes <laughs> that are weather related. Finally good to meet another rich person besides Papa D. How you doing, uh -huh. man? <laughs> ah, ah. I Pleasure. I through his friendship, Nelson Britt. Really? I've seen you on you did Sturgis too? Yeah, my first time last year. Rode man, out. me and my wife did it. Awesome. Wow, yeah, we, we rode from Savannah, Georgia, all the way to Sturgis. Can you let my wife hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? And, and, Is that a reverse and, camera? Hey, yeah. and, and right here. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you retired for real. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Monitor here. Uh-huh. I can um, oh. I can show either from the front camera view, uh -huh. or I can uh, switch it over to rear camera view. Yeah, that is uh, awesome. So that's, that's front. My guy Joyce, how you hear about us, man? Following you on YouTube. Really? <laughs> oh man, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Now man, this is from? beautiful. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, <laughs> you didn't ride from Ohio, George. You rode from Ohio. I from Ohio yesterday, man. Man. Bring it in again, man. <laughs> what? Ohio? Yes, Ohio. Sir. Columbus. How about that, man? Wow. Over them Buckeye. Yeah. Wow, that's this van right there. How's it going, man? How what? Van. Man. So what was your bike name? Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Maria. Maria? Yeah. Wow. Maria looks good, man. You have a good ride, though? Yeah, I did. Wow. Bad, man, we all got rain. caught in the rain, man. Yeah, I didn't get none, so I was, I was Oh, you blessed. Happy about what? that. What? Man, she looks good. Ohio, man. Ohio, Illinois, New York. Oh, man. Wow. North Carolina, South Carolina. Georgia. And then Florida, right? North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah. Georgia. <laughs> By way of Florida. But, <laughs> man, that helmet rocks, oh, bro. Yeah, I got what it does. First thing I noticed, man. Help man. Did he come in here camouflage? I didn't recognize yeah. him. Yeah. Hey, he, 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 hey, man, George came in. Did he bust that right? Yeah. Put the kickstand down? I said, oh, man. I told Wood, I said, somebody coming in on that thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was ran to the room, George. No. <laughs> Looks good, man. After 18 years, the first time I left the state on a motorcycle. What? <laughs> what? To come here and ride with the fellas? And the fillets, man. Blue Nation, man. Nation, bro. <laughs>
bad, man. I am drenched, Wood Nation. But the rest of Wood Nation, everybody had their Ranger on. Well, me and uh, Disco didn't have our Ranger on. Ben had his bottoms on, not his top. My guy came fully prepared, man. Are you, you dry? Can you show some of your dryness? <laughs> Check it out, Wood Nation, man. So I'm getting me a dry shirt. I mean, these socks, I don't even know if my boots can... <laughs> what do they call them, the ugly socks? Man, uh, I'm getting these some socks, man. Uh -uh. So socks, and what else I need? Uh, uh, I need a necklace. No. <laughs> Wood Nation bros and broets, man. This literally has been an experience, man. I'm telling you. First of all, when everybody left the two-wheel end, over 80% of everybody had their rain gear on. And I was like, eh, I should be okay. Light sprinkles already, mind you now. So we're rolling, and the bottom just came out, as you guys, you know what I'm saying, just witnessed. Oh, my Lord. So we're here now where everybody's up there getting breakfast, man. Um, and y'all know I love to eat, man. But when I was, man, me being, like, soaked and wet like that, I didn't want to catch a cold, flu, etc. So, man, I bought this shirt here. And I uh, also bought some Christmas looking socks. <laughs> man, that was like 40 some bucks, but I don't care, man. And then the dude, man, I'm gonna um, uh, introduce you guys to him here uh, really soon. This guy, man, was like, bro, go ahead and just throw your socks in the shirt in the dryer. Oh, man, I'm so tempted to get out of my pants and put them in the dryer, but I ain't thought I was gonna have that type of time. But I wanna show you guys this U Wood Nation. Man, look. So this here, uh, that's their, um, I guess, washroom, what have you. Uh, wash your dryer. This here where everybody kind of eat, etc. But check this out. This here, when I saw this, this makes it all worthwhile, man. Like, honestly. This is like, you know, motorcycles, you know, riding a motorcycle, man, it's great for wind therapy. It really is. And man, the wind therapy was interrupted yesterday. <laughs> but look at this, man. Look, look, look how awesome our, our, our Heavenly Father is, man. I've, I've never seen anything like this look at this bros and broettes look at this man i'm i'm about let me see y'all gotta excuse my feet now but look at this dude tell me god ain't awesome man oh my gosh oh this is beautiful man and and i kid you not i was literally thinking like how could people live up here? You got these turns and curves and accident, you know what I'm saying? Stats is probably at a high. But when I see this, yes, now I see why, you know, people like back roads and the country. It's, this is beautiful, man. Like I literally stopped everything when I saw this and I just wanted to share it with you guys, bros and broettes. God is awesome, man. Hey, and check this out, I have a friend, man. Cool dude. He called me, called me up one day. He was like, Wood, man, let's go whitewater rafting. I was like, bro, I don't even go blackwater rafting. <laughs> All right, Wood Nation, man, I want to introduce you guys to Dave, man. This guy's been ever so awesome, man. He's going to tell you guys where we are and how can you get here. Two huge thumbs up. Hey, what's happening? Hey, One Nation, we'd be glad to have you here. Hope you'll stop by. We're locating in Robbinsville, North Carolina on 129, three miles from the Dragon. We'll be glad to have you. Man, you are the man, bro. He was like, man, go ahead and put all your stuff in the dryer. What? Dave, you are a Wood Nation supporter. Artist Tip Mr. Kenny. What? Man, you, Dave. This dude here, man. Thank you, bro. So, where did I just put it on my, uh, where? Just... Put it on there, and then you put it on the coloring, and you put it on the My God, Virgil, bro. Hey, y'all know Drill Soldier. <laughs> this is the crew, man. We got my guy, George, Mike, Disco. And what was the name, man? Oh, so and then a rich guy. <laughs> Y'all know Virgin L. Roast the cross. How you feeling, man? Uh, I got my stuff. Uh, a little bit, man. I was nervous, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, and then that's why I was the last one. I almost put my flashes on. <laughs> I got my stuff in the dryer now, though. Yeah, man. What's what's say, Duncan? Ah, I got my guy Duncan right here, man. Huh? I didn't even eat breakfast yet, man. Because I, I put my, he let me put my stuff in the dryer. I got my stuff in the dryer drying now, man. Fresh, right? Huh? Did you look fresh? The <laughs> feel I had to buy this shirt and I bought socks. It was like 40 bucks. But I was like, I don't care, man. 
Mike here. What's up, guitar? Morris, All right, what's your name? Morris. Morris? Out of Charlotte. I'm with, uh, oh, that's okay. Oh, you're the rich man then over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got my stuff in the dryer, man, so I'm gonna pull it out in a little bit, man. Oh, Nelson. You the rich guy. You the rich guy everybody's talking about. Hey, well, let's bridge the bills on Nelson. <laughs> What's up, man? You good, bro? I'm good, man. Man, I got my stuff in the dryer. You need to put your stuff in the dryer? <laughs> yep, the guy in the front, when I brought all this stuff like 40 bucks, I asked him, can I put my uh, shirts and socks in the dryer? He said, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so you want to put something in the dryer? Man, nah. <laughs> well, I'll be walking around here in my skin. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, boy? My man, my man. Hey there. Papa G, man. Now, what is the name of that river out there? I told everybody you were from. Huh? Chihuahua. Did I tell you what they should? I told you. If anybody know the name of that river out there, it's Papa D. Chihuahua is the Chihuahua River, and the Chihuahua Dam is the dam they use for the future. Uh huh. So that's, we're going to go by that dam in just a minute. The dam oh. that Ford jumped off over, and that's the dam we're going to go up the top. Oh. As soon as we leave here, it's going to be on the right. On the right, and okay. Climb up to the tail of the Let me check on these clothes. All right. Man, I ain't walking around barefooted. So I took my soul out my boots, man. And uh, let's see what we're working at. Oh, hallelujah. What's up? <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, man, I can take the socks out now. <laughs> hallelujah. Woo. All right. Give it five more minutes. <laughs> man, I feel a lot better now. My clothes are dry. Look at that, man. Check me out. So I'm going to go ahead and button this out. Grab the rest out of there and leave with the crew, man. Oh, thank you, guys. Ooh, got them clothes dry, baby. No cold for me. ha -choo! I did sneeze twice, though, for real. Well, Nathan, God's good, man. I'm able to eat, <laughs> but quickly, though. <laughs> My plan was, and still is, we'll leave here since we had breakfast and we kind of settled down. It's five miles up to the cell of the dragon. So when we leave here, we're gonna go across the bridge and to the right yeah. is the Chihuahua Dam. So if you look, that's the dam that was in the fusion that Harrison Ford jumped off of or the stunt dummy they threw it off of. But that's where all this water is coming from. They're releasing water from that dam today. We'll go by that dam, we'll climb up right beside of it. So this will be to your right all the way up the hill. You'll see the top of it when you get to the top. And then about three miles up the road is Hill's Gap the Motorcycle Resort. That's where the, the you know the dragon statue and all that stuff. Yeah. In that parking lot, it's on a hill, and a lot of places where kickstands goes, there's holes. So watch where your kickstand goes, so you might not lean too far. It would scare you, or it'd be hard to get it back up out of it. It's 900 pound Bohemus can be right. Yeah. Um, but leave here. We we'll go to Bill's Gap. Get your T-shirt. Get your picture. Spend whatever time you want to get there, and then everybody, at your own pace, get on the bike and ride across the dragon. You ride in groups, ride by yourself. I don't want to go in a great big group with everybody. Go at your own pace. Don't let anybody push you. If you're not comfortable, ride slow. Gear down. If you think you need to be a third gear, get the second gear. You probably don't need to be any higher than third gear anytime you're on the Dragon. Being honest. Second gear is probably good for most folks. Especially in the tight yeah. turns. The higher RPM will help you balance the bike and get through the turn. The engine braking will help you get there. Yeah. If you're not going fast enough to do the trail braking like they talked about on Robert Simmons and Traveling Calls channel and you're doing out there those SPs. Yeah. Engine braking, ride to the curb. Don't ride out of your mirror, but be aware that fry truckers are out here, they're gonna burn up behind you, they're gonna pass you. You might not realize they're there until they're right here, and it will scare you. So just know that. Stay away from the yellow line, right? Because people might cross it. Don't focus on anything coming the other direction. Yeah. Focus on the road ahead of you. Don't look, be like me. Look at where you want the bike to go. Look at where you need to enter the apex of the curve and go for that apex and then look through the curve, where you want to exit the curve and exit out of the curve, just as you did the motorcycle safety foundation class where you slow down and going into the curve and you throttle out of it, you're going to do the same thing here. Yeah. Right, and just ride your pace, and then we will meet all on the other side. Once you get to the other side of the tail of the dragon, you come down and it's going to get flat and straight. It'll be a, a lake to your left. Speed limit's still like 40 miles an hour for about five miles, and then it'll get up to 50 or 55. They'll give you a ticket over there, so don't, just because you got straight, don't open it up. And don't speed when you get past it. Ride the speed limit. Probably about eight or nine miles on the other side of the dragon. Might not be, might not be that far. You're going to pass the Hood Hills Parkway. It goes off to the right. Start looking for a church. 
grass past that church and crow the trees, just past those trees is the Highway 129 uh, Harley Davidson t-shirt shop. It's got a big awning, big yellow sign. The building kind of uh, got this cedar siding on it like this does. It's on the right. There's a helipad to the left. That's where if you wreck, they have to land a helicopter to take you off the dragon. So you don't want to have that happen. We're going to pull in there and we're all going to meet up there. So we're going to leave here, go to the deals gap. Everybody do your own thing. Socialize. Get your t-shirt. Get your souvenirs. They've got water or whatever else you might need there. If you need Wi-Fi, they have Wi-Fi there. Ask them how to get on it because there's no cell service up here. When you get ready, ride across to the other side of the tail of the dragon and meet up over there. The biggest thing I ought to do is get a head count or a bike count so we know when everybody is together on the other side. Up here, what's your name? This is Bo and Karen Sluter. We're from Newland, North Carolina. And this is a good Karen. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, Reverend Tom calls me the good Karen. Okay, good. I, I, I clenched my wallet. <laughs> Felice and Nelson Brett from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, so. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Dexter from Charlotte, North Carolina. Claudette from uh, Jackson Heights, New York. New York. Awesome. Oh, so. <laughs> Maurice Graham from Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. Oh, Casey from Light Chicago. Wow. Duncan Moody, Salisbury, North Carolina. Awesome songs. Michael McClinton, Gainesville, Florida. Mike Loday, Queens, New York. Ross Fisher, Savannah, Georgia. George O'Bain in Columbus, Ohio. BK, Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo, Charlotte, the house! Fellas! And then we got Virgil, where, what's your name, where are you from? Virgil from Columbus, Georgia. Kicks and Harleys, right? Kicks and Harleys. Tony from Columbus, Georgia. And All right, then. Hubbity! Tim Marshman from Lower North Carolina. All right. And Wood Jr. from Heaven. Sit down from above to tell you guys. No. From Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> now we would. I, now Disco, Van, and Jay, they're all in the room drying their clothes, man. <laughs> this is Trackstar, guys. This is our waitress. Check it out. This no bike, man. <laughs> that's on Tell of the Dragon, right? Yeah. Yesterday. Day before yesterday. Wait, that was recent? Man, you rock. Come on, man. Wait till you see my picture. I'm going to be praying. No. <laughs> Look at me, Bo. I got my ranger. I got my ranger, guys. I can't see you. Where you at? Right here. No. <laughs> I'm here, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. We only going five miles, man. You ain't going to get wet this uh -uh, time. Oh, no, man. All of a sudden, it wasn't lemonade, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, doop, 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 doop. Exactly. Don't do me like this, Lord. We're partners.
what I heard, which is YouTube, that if you needed any part from your bike, you can go to this tree and pull it. So you can't do that? This was on a sports bike I saw yesterday. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if I need, hey, okay, well, that'll work for my bike. You don't just grab it? I did not know that, Virgil. This is a memorial for some folks. Well, why did they call it the Tree of Shame? Look at there. Some people walked away. Oh, okay, some okay. Did not. Look at there. No gain, Tree of Shame, and a lot of pain. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There's something good that you need to see before you get on that um Wow man. Oh, oh, oh shucks. Oh Jesus. Okay. Wow. Make you remember before you get out there to be humble, you know? Yeah, that that is so true, man. I I, I never even thought about people not making it. I thought I they just crashed. The guy was talking about it. What guy? That guy here. Memorial right there. Uh, what? It names all these people. Check this out. Right here. Yeah. Um, that fender up there. Anywhere where there's a name on it. This uh -huh. um, part of the windshield there. This. I mean, anywhere where I've there's never. a name on it. These are people that have died here. Dude, I kid you not. From what I I watched on YouTube, of course, as you yeah, course. people said that. This tree here, if you have any part you need on your bike, you can pull from this tree. Nah. Not true? Okay. No, no, this is a memorial, man. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. So, if, so if, they, if someone have an accident and they, of course, survive, do they just take their piece and just chunk it up there? Or, or they place it on there, yeah. Yeah. So this is not done and maintenance by anyone? No. Not really. I don't know if this place does any maintenance by Okay. Yeah, I, I, so I can't answer that question with complete honor. Oh, look how high it goes. Dear gosh. Yeah. What? Look at there, 2012 on a boot. Yep. And 2008 over here. But then we got this one too. Uh, <laughs> and last night, oh, before gosh. It, last night before it started raining, we had all the wind. Uh-huh. Uh, nothing fell off that I could see. Yeah, a lot of people just died on this road. I never yeah. thought of that, man. Yeah. I mean, because I thought, you know, you're only going, what, 10, 20 miles? I think. If somebody wow. comes the other Flying. way yeah. and they can't negotiate their turn, and people have oh. been hit head on. Good point, yeah. Yeah, yeah the know? impact. Yeah, and people, people will be looking at the person in front of them, their tire, uh -huh. and if they go off the road, they follow them right off. Oh, yep, you're right, because we had a briefing, and uh, the guy Papa D was telling us, don't look at the oncoming traffic, follow your turn through, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And, and don't, you got to lean wide, don't lean tight. Okay. Because if you lean tight, you're over near the line, uh -huh. and if somebody crosses that line while you're leaning, you're f oh. But if you lean more wide, you have that more room in case if somebody does come. So lean toward the yellow or the, the white? You lean towards the white. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, because the yellow's in the middle. Okay. Oh, the white. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Closer to makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. Yeah, or middle, or at least be in the middle. Oh, yeah, no. Ah! <laughs> Is that a challenge point? Yeah. Oh, my God, Rush the Cruz. Good for you. Hey, man, thank you, brother. What's your name? <laughs> Larry. Larry, thank you, man, for real. You want to say what's up to Wood Nation? Yeah. The second you don't take this road seriously, it will take you. Wow, y'all listen to Larry, man. <laughs> he knows. I don't know shit. No. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I just sound. Uh oh. Good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, Hold the on, dragon. Check that second patch closely. Okay. Let me see. Does it say? Okay, it doesn't say the women's group. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me look at this close. Okay, yeah. deals gap. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Women rider. No. <laughs> <laughs> bro, thank you, man. You're welcome. Oh my God, man. Man, we about to do this, Rose? Yeah, man. I'm gonna go picture that dragon up there too. Man. Oh, yeah, let's do it, man. Look at this, bro. Rose, we right here. Rose, we see this on TV, man, but we're right here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, hold on, I gotta. Okay. All right. Mr. Dragon, you have to understand. I have seen you on every YouTube channel. Dude, I am finally here. Can you stop eating just for a second and listen, man? Dude, I, can I get an autograph?
Hollywood Nation. I'm here with a young lady by the name of Michelle, man. She actually works at Teller the Dragon Killboy. I want to ask you too why they call it Killboy, but just tell us a little about it. This is Michelle, guys. You want to say what's up, Michelle? What's up, Wood Nation? How long we been? How long y'all been here? I think the place has been here probably over 11 years, I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, why do they call it Killboy? I'm just... <laughs> That there, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get past it now. <laughs> so Killboy, he's a photographer and he started here. So, uh, oh, wait, yeah. so is that the guy that, that they, they I hear about that? He's on the road, yeah. Duh, yeah. okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Good deal, now I'm not so worried. No. Yeah. yeah, no, they're great pictures too. Now, how do you guys do it? Because I can't get Wi-Fi, I can't get internet out here. Like, like this is, I'm at high alert here. No. Yeah, you have to be on high alert. This is just a place of serenity. You got to come here and just get off the Wow. Wi -Fi. Now, Michelle, that was awesome. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. Get off the Wi-Fi. Just come here and enjoy the nature. You know what? Matter of fact, <laughs> you know what, Michelle? Let's do this. You know what, phone? Tell you what. Well, now, hold on, Michelle. <laughs> Here at the Tale of the Dragon, you buy the picture, send that picture to Tale of the Dragon, and we will create this sign for you. Look at and that. And it's custom, so you can say what you wanted to say, put your cool self in it. Yes, I'm very cool, Michelle. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Take care, Wood Nation. I want to record me looking both ways before crossing the tail of the dragon. Looking right, looking left. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm in the middle of tail of the dragon. Now let me stop. <laughs> Jay, you ready, man? Woo! My guy got that serious look. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, don't follow him too close. <laughs> Wood Nation, y'all pray for me, man. I ain't never did this before, man. I left my pillows at home. All right, well, next time I got Van, got me a sucker, man. This is just gonna kind of help, you know, ease with the, the fear. Yeah. Let me show you how. This is how I'm trying to get my look, y'all. Check this out. Let me show you Van. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right. Tell her the drag. Yeah. Ah. And I lost my uh, mask too, guys. Let's get it, y'all. I'm behind, uh, I'm behind Papa D, y'all. Yeah. 
you made it, Virgin. Drop it if you made it, man. And I think it was a Justin Saddleman. Oh, Lord. 
The first time I rode up here, I thought this was the end. Oh, this ain't the end? No, no. Oh, that's right. You said we was going to stop. Okay. Marker eight or nine. And we got two or three more miles to go. Man, we was getting it big time. I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Woo, no more than 10 miles. No. That was awesome. Yo, what that knee? Oh, my gosh. That made my day. And that I was like, God. Did you see my knees? Bo. Hey, bro. Man, I'm excited, did man. Yeah, I did, yeah. man. Yeah. Following this guy. As you go straight out through here, there's all kinds of dams. So there's that dam. Okay. We get down to the end before we get to the t-shirt shop. There's uh -huh. a little bit low dam down there. But what? they're all part of the Tennessee Valley Authority. I always wanted, so this is a drop. This is not even a hill, huh? And over there on the other side, no, too. No, no. It's, 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 uh, it's straight <laughs> off. Yeah, isn't that something? Hey, Wood. Huh? Uh, when we really plan us a trip, uh -oh. we'll go out to Utah. And we'll go to Escalante Staircase, and we'll ride from there to Capitol Reef. You go across this thing called the Hog's Back. Uh -huh. And on the Hog's Back, you're on the road, and it's as wide as that road is out there. Yeah. And it's a thousand foot drop on either side. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. For about, for about 100 See, yards. See, that just discouraged you, you, me right hey, there. But you're tooling along, and you're living all this. And all of a sudden, you <laughs> Bro, help, bro. <laughs> bro, wait, I love my wife. <laughs> I just upgraded our insurance. No. That's what she called you come around here, that's the first time I went over it. Uh -huh. I come around the corner, and all of a sudden, the, the, the mountain that was beside of me, the, le the ground, disappeared. And all it was was a road oh, and a my curve Lord. like that. Oh, Lord. Did you want you to shoot my, the My heart went boom. I was telling everybody, this is the only time I wish I had stickers, just to put it on this stuff, man. Why don't you get you some stickers, man? No, 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 man. Nah, I'm, I'm stickerless, coming. man. They coming. Nah, nah, man, they just the love, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah they stickerless, they you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put one on there. I ain't got one on this. Yeah, put one on there. Look at it like this here. It's something they can always remember. I mean, you love it. So once somebody reach the first time, they gonna never forget. I have it like, <laughs> you know what? I got this. I remember me and Wood did something. So, so. You can just pull up the video. See, that's a good point. <laughs> right, Mike? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but a sticker just tells part of the story, you know? Uh -huh. Oh, that's good, guys. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> but also, it may not, it may not, a video may not trigger something that a sticker did. Now, that's true. That, man, you got to get a YouTube channel now. You know? <laughs> it's out of Bob of CVO, baby. Oh, okay. And then, there I'm learning is. to be the boss of our motorcycle, but his is over there. My guy be wrong, right where? Here, right, here, right here. Oh, okay, it only take up half of the uh, concrete slab. <laughs> Lord Jesus, big rock. I mean, gosh, can somebody else put a sticker there? Let's see, we got Tom Man. Tall right here running to the hills. Okay, what's Number up, one. Tall? That, even, even his sticker's six foot tall. No. <laughs> I don't know the uh, uh, monkey see. bud. Trying to see if anybody else I there know will follow on here. Check that out, y'all. This is too cool. Rise now all ride. these YouTubes are businesses, you know what I'm saying? Oh, different things I think. Precision Monkey, I know Professional Monkey, I watch that video sometimes. Okay. Monkey Mountain Moonshine, I think people just put stickers on there, but a lot of them are YouTubers looks like. Wow. Now you know what, I gotta give you guys credit. Everybody wanna put stickers in the front, but you guys put them in the back, that's cool. Wait, unless there's no more room in the front. No. <laughs> we can find a spot on the front. I know, right? Good stuff, man. All right, I'm gonna put my invisible sticker here. Boom. Oh, there, wait. <laughs> Do it again, Roger. Yeah, you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at this, man. Okay, so this one, you could kind of overstep this just. Hold on, let me. Uh, hold on, let me try this. I gotta. Uh, yeah. I just at least wanted to stand over because nobody really stood over here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh Lord Jesus, look at all that. Yeah. Papa D, where does this end? No. <laughs> Ooh, check me out, y'all. Hey Jay, come on, step over, man. No. Jesus. Oh Lord. Woo. Oh yeah, man, cause that breakfast, man. <laughs> Check it out, Wood Nation Alder from Ohio, man. Woo! Hey, y'all know Scott Lynn, he's from Ohio. He a cool dude. Yeah! <laughs> Follow you, Papa D.
This is Sonda uh, Wood Nation. You want to say hi to Wood Nation? Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> Sonda says my guy Mike looks like Santa Claus. Put in the comments, what do you guys think, man? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, Mike, you can give them a present or you can give them the Axe 32. <laughs> and if you're, if you're real bad, the reindeer work on your gift. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And his nose is not red. <laughs>
All right, what nation, bros and bros, man. Me and my guy Duncan's, we got through that. But my guy Duncan's, man, want to talk to you guys. And so do I do too, man, because just real quick, guys, this is an important topic here, man. Um, you know, a lot of people say, ride, you're right. And I mean, I couldn't agree more. However, at the same time, there's pros and cons of riding your ride. If you are a solo rider and you don't ride groups with groups, etc., then yeah, ride your ride. That's totally fine because, ooh, excuse me, I apologize. Whether you're going slow or whether you're going fast, you're going at your own pace. So you don't have a group that's with you, etc. But the minute you decide to ride with a group, that group automatically assumes that you not only know how to ride, but also know how to keep up. They're not sure about your strengths or your weakness for his riding skills. They just know, hey, he or she wants to ride with the group. So, hey, you know what? Let's have them to ride with the group. What will happen here today was uh, we were out trailing Papa D and uh, I noticed Duncan kind of falling behind and I was the, the tail gunner or, you know, the last guy. And so, you know, I kind of flagged everyone else to kind of go around, etc. And so uh, Duncan was falling behind. So I was like, okay, good. So I, you know, tried to push him. You guys know how you kind of push your rider, you get close to him and then kind of, you know, he'll speed up and then you'll speed up, etc. And he will speed up, I noticed on straightaways, but on the curves, he'll slow all the way down. And the, and the more he slowed down, the further we were separating ourselves from the actual group. Well, uh, the thing that was not so good about that is that we actually got lost, all right? Because I was like, Duncans, go ahead, you know, you can lead and I'll just follow, kind of push behind him. And one turn led to another turn. And what do you think about an hour later? It was just about like, where are we, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, I don't even know where, what area where we at, but you guys probably just saw the video of it where it was just a lot of potholes, et cetera, you know, things of that matter. So, but the, the cons of ride your ride, he was riding his ride because, you know, he wasn't trying to keep up with anyone. He was doing his thing. But as a result of that, man, uh, Papa D was wary. And I didn't even notice until we just pulled back up here. And I'll tell you about how we did that soon. And then I'll uh, let Duncan say whatever it is he desired to say. But at the same time, by him riding his ride caused him to separate himself from the group. Now, I was there, of course, and he says, man, you my brother's keeper. Thank you, man. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And that was awesome. But I didn't want, I didn't have the address to our destination. And then two, the phone didn't even have the GPS up and running. Now, I could have put it in the Harley, but at the same time, once again, my assumption was uh, Duncan's just need a push to get back with the group. And the more I was riding with him, I noticed it was just more than just like a Porsche or what have you. All right. And then he actually traveled from Florida to get here. So I think that's awesome as well. So if when you ride your ride, as long as you're riding solo, I think that's totally fine. But if you're going to ride with a group, guys, I think it's important that you let the road captain or group leader know about your, your riding strengths and your riding weaknesses so we can better prepare for that. So now we're, we are aware of Duncan's uh, strengths and weakness for his riding, as well as another gentleman. So Bo and Karen are now going to be the tail gunners right in the very back. So no matter how much he stray away from the group, those guys automatically know where we're going because Bo know this place like the back of his hand and he definitely know how to get to the hotel. So that's awesome. So now that's all because now we are aware of what's going on. So I'm just going to let Duncan, the man, just kind of share his experience because it's the same experience when I was, uh, I got my bike and I was riding in Jacksonville. Only difference with that is I advised my guy Ross to cross them. I said, guys, now I'm going to tell you, I can ride, but when it comes to rain, I just, I clench up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a clam. They said, okay, that's fine. And we was getting it. We was rolling. Soon as that rain came, I was on Jacksonville Highway. You guys notice I tell the story all the time for those who follow the channel. And I literally was going 30, 35 miles an hour on Jacksonville Highway. Ross Cross stayed behind me the whole time. So that's kind of, you know what I'm saying, why I, I noticed also with uh, Duncan's and I says, man, I can tell, you know, he's, he's, it's his weakness and his strengths for his riding. I'm not going to leave this guy, you know what I'm saying, out there just so I can stay with the group. Now, let's just say this is not the group's fault either, because once again, everyone assume everyone know how to ride because no one shared their strengths or weakness for his riding. All right. And so what I did, I just told the group, go around Duncan and I'll just stick with him because they probably was like, hey, what's going on? However, now that we know what's going on, we're all good. So I'm just going to have Duncan's man share his uh, part of the experience.
All right, what you want to say to him, Duncan? Well, Wood Nation, uh, it's been an adventure uh, on this trip. I thank Wood for being there, looking after me. Uh, sorry, Papa D got a little scared when we got lost, but uh, everybody was worried about it and they prayed for us and everything. And that's good. Uh, I was trying to step out of my box and go do something different, uh, trying to improve my skills. And I figured the only way I could improve my skills is to try something different. Mm -hmm. But trying something different, like I say, I should have said, hey, I where my weakness and strength was at. But also, I think that uh, I never, we never knew where it was going. We didn't have any maps, no GPS to tell you where you was going. We got lost. There's no signals in the mountains. Uh, it's Wood's first time, my first time in the mountains doing this. Uh, but I mean, uh, I've accomplished a lot coming here today and yesterday. Uh, so it's the first time I've been away from my home city uh, on a bike by myself, at the world by myself, um, and got with the group, and I've been riding with them all day today. Uh, and your slow riding skills are great, by the way, because we were going up that mountain right. when we got turned around, and man, you, you kept it going. Your slow riding skills is A1. Right. Yeah, it's pretty decent, man. Yeah. So you let them know, so what what was your stretch just so they're working? Because you know, this helps everyone. My and then what was your is, weakness? It's like most of our people, they, they don't do slow speed training. Uh, everybody thinks you get on the highway and go go fast. I, I did take a, a, a advanced class a couple weeks ago trying trying to prepare myself for this for this ride, but it's awesome. totally totally different from when you're doing it in a setting of training and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, highway riding is is uh, totally different. Like even though we do a MSF class, they do it, you do the class, but they don't put you out on 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 in the street situation. So you go out and you pressure the bike. You gotta learn and teach yourself or have somebody teach you, mm -hmm. uh, guide you. Uh, so uh, you need to find somebody that's going to help you and guide you. Uh, yeah. And that's why I really wanted to come here and get was guidance and, awesome. and help. Uh, but I need, I need to learn where I need to work on and get better at yeah. and, and improve. So would you agree that um, people um, like um, should start with like local group rides? What do you think? Uh, I, I tried that before, but I don't. I didn't like the group ride. I did it one oh, time. Gotcha. I didn't like. I didn't like that, that group ride that they were. They, they were doing. Stuff, gotcha. Okay. Stuff. Makes sense. Uh, okay. You know, uh, and then it's it open to anybody and everybody in any, in any type of motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to come out and get the experience. Uh, and I've only been riding for a year, so and I know I've, I've reached my 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 as far as I can go myself. I need. I need to other people to, to learn and improve mm -hmm. and that, that was my goal to come out and and do that and, and learn so now that was your strengths what would you say your weakness are the straightaways or the curves the curves or? uh my my fear is is crossing the center line or or or, or crashing in the curves and stuff okay uh so i take them pretty slow uh and uh i know i need to work on it and uh mm -hmm. When I did the class. Uh, I'm good at right turns, but my left turn is, is a little weak. I, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. You turn that right turn very strong. Right. Yep. And mm -hmm. even even in 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 the training training class, the guy was like, "You can do all the right U turns, but your left U turn is a little messed up." Mm -hmm. And they, they couldn't figure out why uh, and stuff. But I probably I probably know the reason why, but I can't tell nobody. Okay. And, uh, it's a martial arts thing I used to do, and and I, I found out. Uh, I, I I tell you guys. Left side, I, I think my vision is a little different on my left side than my right side. Okay. Because uh, I did martial arts and probably just, you know, I couldn't, my first one on my left is not as good as my right. So gotcha. I think that's probably is why my, my left is it's not as good. Gotcha. Okay. So I, they won't share it, but I guess I would share it. No, now, no, now, no. Wood, Wood's making me a it. YouTube famous with this. <laughs> 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 but I appreciate everybody, you know, worrying about us and, and Wood sticking with me. Caring for me, my brother's keeper, and everything. Absolutely, man. And uh, I knew when Wood and and Papa D said to do this ride, there was two guys I really wanted to ride with. Yeah. Uh, and you know their their demeanor, their attitudes, their faith, and everything. It's one thing that, that brought me towards them. Cool. Well, now that you meet us, are we devils? No. <laughs> no. no. You, you guys, you you guys are very nice. Thank you, man. Gentle. Uh, so you guys are the type of people I want to be around and be with. Okay. And so that's why I really came. That's man. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And see, that's another thing, man. That's what's up, man. You know, people wanted to do this. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, hang with Papa D, hang with myself and others. And I think that is awesome, man. But I'm sure you'll agree that safety is a, is one of the right, utmost yeah, concerns, yeah, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely safety first, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll even come to you guys if need be. You know what I'm saying? But we just want to make sure you guys are safe above anything. And, man, I, I was the same. Well, like I said, I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. the, the left turns, the right turns. I was actually impressed on the dragon of myself, you know? But it comes from riding with groups like my local groups, you know, um, motorcycle clubs, and even riding with my neighbor, Ross the Cross, every day. And then when he, even when I couldn't ride with Ross the Cross every day, Literally, I would get on my bike. You guys know this. I would just go on the highway and, you know, I mount the back roads. Man, now I have to say, Duncan's broke me in today with the back roads. <laughs> <laughs> he broke me in today with the back roads, man. Oh my gosh. Look, we took took so many wrong turn back road turns. Oh my gosh. But yeah, man, it's in, in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't even share that, man. When we pulled up, uh Papa D wasn't that Stacy, Stacy. I gotta give Stacy a two huge thumbs of her and her husband. I keep calling them Elvis. It's, it's Terry. It's Terry. Terry, okay. <laughs> man, we do we we were like so turned around. We saw Terry. We saw this big guy. I was like, oh man, I wish he was with us. And when he passed, I was like, Elvis, Elvis with it really Terry. And he turned around and man took us right back here. As soon as man Duncan's and I pulled up, Papa D just came out hugging us and crying. I didn't even know I had like a hundred messages on my phone because we didn't have no signal so that's the importance guys of you know what i'm saying when they say ride your ride it's strongly preferred to ride it solo but if you ride your ride with a group man have some type of like a little entry level skill etc would you agree stacy <laughs> yeah awesome okay papa d's gonna whip us with a switch if we don't get out there no <laughs> All right, what nation? What nation? Anything else? Thank you, what nation? My man. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Bros and broets, check this out. Wow, look at this, bro. Uh, oh, Lord. check this out. Ah. <laughs> Woo! I made it. We got that wood nation. Y'all out there? Jay. Jay, you up there? Ah! I'm ready, man! <laughs> Time to walk the plate! Alright, here we go, y'all. Alright. Come on, baby, don't fail me. Oh, yeah! All right, here we go. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Huh? You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> it's just too flexible. Check it out. <laughs> I want to be like your friend, Papa D. Oh, what's up? What's up, Mike? Uh, I might come down with no problem and I had issues. <laughs> Mike, you don't want this? Hold on, man. Let me make sure. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how deep it is. Hey, Papa D, how deep is this? <laughs> how deep is this? Uh-oh. Well, oh, Lord Jesus, man. Whew, I'm a sweat, man. Hey, bro, you, would you do this? Yeah. If he do it, I'll do it, man. I'm, I'm just afraid it may break. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh oh. She says she gonna. She says she gonna tell my wife. I gotta turn around. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh. Man, couple Mike, please, man. Cause it's, it's just got a little bounce to it. Yeah, Would you? I think so. <laughs> yeah? Oh. Mike, please be careful, man. 
Oh, look at Mike, bro, look at Mike. Oh, Mike, please, man. Mike. Now, I can swim, I just can't, uh... <laughs> Mike, come on back, brother. Mike, please, bro. There you go, come on back. You say, there you go. You're doing good. There you go, you're doing good. All right, okay, let's see who's making the party. You wanna go? No. <laughs> you wanna go uh, oh, come on, Dude, man. If you go, you gotta get back. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> well, we can just live over there. No. <laughs> Real, real yeah, real steel too, right? Yeah. Let's see. Well, so where did you make it? You stopped by the rock? Okay. Woo. Oh, it's get it get more narrow. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm doing this. Am I really black? This one you stop? Okay. Turn around. Here we go, baby. I ain't trying to grow the channel like that. No. <laughs> ah! If you're going, you're going. Remember that. Is he going? Oh, man. Uh-oh. What's up, bro? Can he quit? I'll get cocky. Look at this, man. Hell, he don't weigh 100 pounds. Wow. Check my guy out, man. <laughs> I told you had to come back. There you go. You're doing great, bro. Wow. What's his name? Mason. Mason. What's up, bro? Are you part of the team now? Ooh, hey, bikers, this is Mason. He in. <laughs> bro, this is what I'm talking about, Wood Nation. Doing something different, something unique. We're about to get close, whoa! We're about to get close to the waterfall. Ah. Huh? Don't go chase the waterfall. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good point, man. We can't chase waterfalls. TLC said it. Don't go chase the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. Wow, bro. There's another one right back there. You see it? If you guys saw that one. Yeah. Like a little one. If the trees weren't, it's like in the wintertime, you can see it better. It goes up underneath the rocks. It's actually really cool. Bro, yeah. this is too cool. Look at this. Huh? This really? Oh, kind of submerge you. What's up, Jay? Uh. Yeah. Wait. Is this slippery? Yeah. Yeah, that's slippery. <laughs> Bro, check this out, man. What is that? I mean, I still, I don't know. Well, now nah, I better not try. <laughs> Jay, but I got this close. <laughs> Look at this, man. Look at my guys right here, man. Yes, sir. What's up, man, Mike? Jay? Disco, we are risk takers, man. Woo! Hey, so if they pay y'all five hundred thousand dollars to at least touch the waterfall right there, would you do it? No. You wouldn't? I got all that. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put the oil out there. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Mike, no, please be careful, man. You come from, you come from Gainesville. 
Hey, either Mike had too many biscuits or he got that side on. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm shooting at the water. <laughs> That's my guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Two thumbs up to Wood Nation supporters, man. Coming out there, man. Bro, that was cool. <sighs> now we can say we've been over there. How cool is that? You want to say it too? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> for restroom, water, snacks, but we'll be there a limited amount of time. Leave that, we'll go on 6428 by all the waterfalls. We'll stop at waterfalls. I know that when we stop at Dry Falls, 
they have an outhouse theme there, like one of those pit toilets. And so there'll be places for bathrooms, stretcher legs at that stop. When we leave there, we're going to ride on through and we'll wind up at a big viewpoint for a few minutes. And then we'll go to a gas station before we get up on the parkway. My suggestion, even if you says you've got plenty of range, while we're there, just go ahead and top off. We're stopping there. You got an opportunity to get fuel. You may not think you need it. You just never know. Top off, but at that gas station, it's an old country store. And they have food there. We're putting a restaurant in there, so hopefully the restaurant's open. Get food, we can eat there, or we can take the food up on the parkway. We can decide that there as a group or whatever. We're going to ride up to the parkway, really scenic ride getting up to the parkway. Yeah. Then we'll ride along the parkway to the highest point of the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're going to stop there, look at the vista, and do a big group picture around the sign. Okay? And then we'll come off the parkway and come right back this way on the highway, 24 or 1974. And we'll go out to Fontana Dam so we can get picture with the challenge going in. It's the highest dam east of the Mississippi. So it's like, it's not the Hoover Dam, but you're driving across a big dam. We'll go across it, we'll get off. Not supposed to stop in the center, we'll probably stop for a minute so everybody can get off and look at it. Unless they come run us off, we'll be all right. I've done it before with a smaller group, but almost as big. And then when we leave there, we're gonna ride Moonshiner 28 back up to the Tail of the Dragon store. Okay, we'll stop there. Anybody wants to drive the Tail of the Dragon, you can ride. And if you ride and we decide to come back, just come back to the hotel when you get done riding the Dragon, okay? But it's gonna be there. If you wanna ride it one more time, we'll come right back this way by where we ate breakfast yesterday and come back to the hotel. That's the route for today. But uh, we're gonna have a great day. Hopefully we'll beat the rain this afternoon, but we won't have any. The Lord's gonna bless us with great weather. Ooh, hallelujah. I'll turn over to Mr. Van here for uh, our briefing for safety and stuff. Can I, can I make a quick comment? Yes, sir. I have found the way things are nowadays, you get to half a tank, you're smart to go ahead and top off. So I encourage people to top off today like that. You might get to a station up here that don't have any fuel. I'm just saying. That's a good point. <laughs> good point, Don. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm not trying to tell anybody, you know, how to do or whatever to this point, but as you ride in a group for safety and everything like this right here, the leader is the one who makes the controls or, 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 or sets a signal or set a signal. If the man in front of you gives a signal, that signal is supposed to be passed all the way back. You know, that way everybody knows. Just like we've seen several trees out in the road, several big potholes or whatever at this point. Because what happens is if I give the signal that there's a pothole, pothole, some people point that either way, it's a pothole or, or, or debris or whatever, then if you don't give that signal, the person behind you don't know it either. So it needs to fall all the way back. Uh, you know, basic hand signals, everybody know basic hand signals. If, he, if the leader holds up one finger, that means single file, which most of the time it ain't. And if he holds up two fingers, especially if we on the highway, you know, that's staggered. Now, if the guy on the left is not right, then you need to pull over and get right and stagger so we can stay staggered. Yeah. And you, you do that so that <clears throat> won't no vehicles get in between you. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do, if we, especially if we get on the four lane or whatever like this right here, try to stay up so that nobody will get in between you. Do not let a vehicle in between you because when you let a vehicle in between motorcycle group, it's a safety issue, it creates safety issues. So you gotta keep up or try to keep up. Now usually you don't have no problem. On a single lane road, right, all right. When we on a single lane road and we come to a stop, the leader gets all the way out on the yellow line and sits there. You're supposed to get right in the main track of the road. And the reason why he does that is because both, the person that's bringing up the rear, when he gets up there to the stop sign, he comes out to the yellow line and he lets him know that he's up there. That way all the group is together at the stop so we don't run off and leave nobody. Now, if he designates somebody to stop traffic or whatever like this, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's up to him. He could just point or whatever. But let him stay right on the yellow line, and you pull over in that in the A track, as they call it, and stay that way until everybody catches up. Yeah, we might have to wait a few minutes, but you got to remember, everybody don't ride mountains all the time, and we're here to enjoy. Yes. And that's the whole thing. And if we want to enjoy it, and, and, and you know, and be safe, you know, right. Uh, so, anybody got any questions about that? We good to go. Now don't run off and leave me because I don't know right. this ride as good as I did. I mean, we would. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point, man. <laughs>
been a pleasure here. meeting everybody and riding with everybody. I uh, want you guys to be safe and enjoy everything. I'm looking forward to the next time we can get together with that. So thank you. We're going to ride with you guys down through Dry Falls and Bell Falls, Highway 64, called the Land of the Waterfalls. It is. And we're going to just track on the 64 over to uh, 74 out of Hendersonville and head back to Charlotte. But I just want to thank you guys for letting us ride along and really enjoy it. I'm glad you came, Nelson, and BK and everybody else. I'm glad all y'all, y'all, Marty, everybody came up. It was okay. Out of New York. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everyone here is like you know, afraid of that's you. Cool. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that in just a minute. Yes, sir. Okay. All Promise right, then. That. All right. That's, that's in the works. I want to say something Thank else you. because it came to my mind when Van was talking. So I'm not going to offer to leave anybody. I promise you that. But when we're on a four-lane highway, it's a highway. we got to at least be good able to do point. the speed limit. I'm not going to run good. off. But the only way we can stay tight is once we get grouped up, everybody accelerate up the speed limit and keep a tight formation staggered. So you got room to maneuver and if something happens. Yeah. But we got to keep a tight enough formation. People don't come in on us because it's dangerous for us to do anything else. Yeah. Um, and so we're only going to be on the four lanes a couple of times today. But when we're on it, and one of them is got a lot of curves and turns in it, I'll do right at the speed limit. Problem is we got merging traffic on that one, so we got to watch out for the merging traffic. If we stay tight on the right hand lane, people have to move out of that with merging traffic. I don't like to ride in the left lane. I'm not that guy. But today. <laughs> We're going to stay in the left lane once we get down in there and group up. Ow. We'll get in the left lane, but I'm going to have to ride at least the, the highway speed because we'll be impeding other traffic sure. and they'll come around the curve and run over us anyway. Yeah. So I just wanted to get that out there, but it's only going to be two of the roads we're on today that that happens. All right, so I want to keep everybody together, everybody be safe, we'll have a blast. You can't ride fast where the waterfalls are at. You just can't do it, mm -hmm. okay? It's, it's going to be a beautiful day. We're going to have a great time. I've asked Brother Don to pray for us this morning. Over our ride. And I apologize, we should have had this same meeting yesterday, and that's on me. Right? And I knew we needed to have it. And everybody got up here, and I was excited. Oh, no, oh, it's raining. Let's just go. That's on me. I apologize. If we'd have had this meeting and talked about it yesterday, we'd probably not have had some of the things that we had happen yesterday happen. I, I'll just say, I love every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And I was saying this this morning. I knew Nelson, I knew Wood in person. I knew Stacy and Trace, uh, Stacy and Terry. I'd met them last year. Met Don and Bo and Karen. That's the only people I knew really ever in person until yesterday. And the majority of us were strangers with everybody yesterday. We all yeah. came together, like-minded, a great spirit, and having a good time, enjoying the blessings of the Lord. And that's what this is all about. That's the reason mm -hmm. I'm doing this channel. I didn't do the channel really to for this to happen, but it has happened. Mm -hmm. You know, I do the channel because I'd love to share my life and riding on the road, but this is just awesome. And it's such a blessing, such a blessing. And the weather, such a blessing. So I'll stop rambling. Brother Don, I'll turn it over to you. Well, I want to uh, just give a, a word of encouragement, I'm going to call it, before I pray. All this right. is something that I've been seeing lately. Uh, with all the mess that's going on in the world, we all know what's going on. I'm not going to get into that, but anyway, God is at work. God is bringing his people together. I don't know what it means. I don't know what God got planned. But I've seen it multiple times. God is bringing his people together. And mm -hmm. let's thank him for that. Amen. Amen. I agree. Just glad to be a part of it. Mm. Father, we come to you humble and grateful this morning. Yes, sir. We're so grateful for the blessings that you lay on us on your phones. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Your beautiful creation. Yes. Every day we see your majesty in this beautiful creation. And thank you so much for allowing us to enjoy it and become even closer to you and enjoy it. We ask safety on our group. This your blessings over us. Keep us safe today, Father, and have everybody in, enjoy themselves. And, and we love you, and we love being together in your name. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Woo! We're late. We got done. Come here, man. Come here, man. <laughs>
What's up, Wood Nation, bros and bros? Hope you guys enjoyed the video thus far. Man, two thumbs up to my guy, Papa D. You know what he's looking for? I was looking for a Walmart. Man, when I saw the Walmart, I was like, yes, thank God. Hey, but check this out, bros and bros. I'm in, um, uh, I was looking for a mask because, you know what I'm saying? The mask that I normally wear that you guys normally see me with. Dude, I lost it today, man. You no, know, it was yesterday, I believe it was. So I was like, oh, and I, I think what it was, either I lost it at the, the breakfast restaurant or at the Dragon, because I was, you know me, I was so tense, you know what I'm saying? But I still get through things, you know what I'm saying? So anywho, long story short, I'm about to purchase this mask here, right? It's a temp mask. But I didn't know that parents still call their children's full name when they're in trouble, right? This little kid was just being a kid, and his parent got upset. She says, Aloysius the third, you stop it now. I was like, man, Aloysius the third, you in trouble, bro. <laughs> I got my guy George here, and of course, Papa D. This dude, this is the ultimate tour guide. Man, you're awesome, bro. We're having a great time, man. I, I, I made a mistake in saying this is better than Sturgis. No. <laughs> This guy, man, it's like you know all the roads, man. Well, I live here. I live close to here, not right here. I mean, yeah, but still, this is further away from my house, and I'm almost 180 miles from my home right now. So, but I ride up here a lot. This dude rocks, man. Subscribe to his channel, Papa D Rides, man. And there was a guy, he said, uh, you guys ride? I said, yeah. He said, uh, I told him, I said something about the Blue Ridge Parkway. He said, man, there's a nice, um, Restaurant and deck, and you can stand on the deck so and that's the Pesca Inn? Yeah. Yeah, that's and, what he and, said. And pretty much, if you want to eat there at dinner, you have to have a reservation, you won't make it in there. And it oh, gets busy at so? lunch, it's real congested, but you can actually, they have like a motor inn, basically a camping inn. It's got rooms and a mm -hmm. little shower house wow. right there as well. Yeah. My wife what? and I went there for our either 10th or 15th anniversary, I can't remember which. He said that and, was and less curves. He said that was less curves and turns. He said, but the site is beautiful. I said, dude, you should see our tour guide. You will you will be amazed. He's like, is it Papa D? No. <laughs> They've got a stoplight with an arm, like a crossing arm that goes down. If we start going through that, I want to be a tight group when we get there. If we start going, start going through that, we should be able to make it to the other side. Okay, so that thing's down, hopefully. I, I hope it's down so we're stopped. And as soon as it turns green, we can all get across. But if it comes down where you're at, there ain't nobody else gonna be on the other side of that but us until you get there. So understand, if that crossing arm stops you, we're gonna go to the other side and wait till you're there. Where's this at, Tim? I'm on, sorry. on 2864. Okay. Oh, man, and thank you. You can't go fast on that road, okay? Yeah, you right. Thank you, man. But I want everybody to know that. And the thing is, I won't be able to see Bo on that part of the road. So when Bo catches up, if that happens, he's at the back. Whoever sees him, give the go-ahead signal and pass it all the way forward with everybody. Okay, because I won't be able to see it at that point. Here, I was able to slow down enough and see when everybody caught yeah, back up and we stayed together. Yeah. Right. When we get over there, that won't happen. I know that's a stop that might separate us, so I wanted to make sure I talked about that. Okay? We're going to mount up and head that way. I think so far, man. Awesome. Woo! All right, what you think, Mike? Best weekend ever. That's what I'm talking about. What you think, big guy? All right. All right. All right. What you think, Nixon? Is it Nixon or Dixon? <laughs> Nelson. Nelson. Oh gosh, Nelson. Okay, Nelson Mandela. I'm a river now. <laughs> and Bob Hart Show. There we go. I got
listen to this, bros and bros. This is a blessing. All right, check this out. All right, guys, this is Dry Falls, and I know it's kind of crazy to get in here. Um, I think Nelson and, and uh, Dex, Nelson, Dex, you guys are peeling off after here and going on, right? This is probably oh, more far away from them, so we're going to say bye to them while we're here. But the rest of us, I need to get a good head count, number one. So Miss Karen called me, the good Karen, called me just a few minutes ago when we were coming <laughs> over here. And her and Bo have a good friend that lives in Robbinsville. She owns a restaurant called the Waverly Inn. And it's a very good restaurant. It's not normally open on Sunday. She's going to open it up for us tonight, a private event. That's so right. She wow. wants to know what we want on the menu. She can make it pricey like flamingo. This will be a buffet. Hey, this will be a buffet. Or like just chicken and whatever. I'm going to just country cooking whatever she wants to get. I know that's right. My blood, my blood. Oh, yeah. Man, we'll, she we'll, is we'll open we'll up just know for it. us tonight. And so we got to get a head count, number one. Number two, we got to stay on schedule. Right? And we're pretty much on schedule now. We're doing great. Yeah. So don't let that bother you. My plan is for us to be back at the hotel around 5 o'clock. I want to tell her we'll be there about 7 o'clock for dinner. So that means when we, when we get ready to stop, I need to go, hey, we got to go. Cause, but is everybody in agreement that's a good thing to do? Just go there and have us a private dinner tonight. Yep. yep. My blood awesome. type is chicken, so I'm going with that. Make it. No, sir. <laughs> so where we're headed now, uh, Wood Nation, this is called the Dry Falls because apparently you can stand underneath the waterfall and still remain dry because I believe a rock, you're standing underneath a rock or something. So slow down, Michael. You act like you're 21 again. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Look at that, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you're, hey, you're good, man. You're good. Hey, but you can throw you can throw that bike around. <laughs> that is nice. See, this is where you stop, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, my. Like, ali Ali oxen free. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. It's moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's a New Yorker for you. He knows how to spin the thing, baby. <laughs> I'm God, walking here. Wow. Come on, man. Look at this, man. Wood. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to Man, I got Papa D know them hitting gems, man. Papa D, wait till people see this video. Everybody gonna be hitting you up, man. I'm telling you. Papa D, can you leave my group? Papa D! Yep. Bro, this is nice. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Oh my god. Woo -hoo -hoo. This look is at, wow, look at Ross, the new YouTuber. <laughs> we are standing behind the phone. Thank you, Art, man. God is good, bro. Look at this, man. Oh, that mist feels so good, dude. Look at this, guy. Check this out. You can stand underneath if you want. How cool is that? Look at that. Wow. Oh, now that is cool, bro. What? Look at, look at, look at my girl, Rose. <laughs> look at my girl, Rose. I would say, shout out, shout out. Uh, what's oh, going man. on? Uh -oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's going on, y'all? This is Wood Nation, man, with my guy Papa D. Rod. Man, Papa D. Rod, everybody gonna hit you up now. Can you leave my tour guide? This dude is awesome. He know the hidden gems, man. Hey, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Ross the Pro and Papa D. Rod. <laughs> Look at this, man. I know this is probably an orthodox, but you can put a nice little blanket here. Oh, my gosh. And just enjoy the view and take a nap.
Hey, Wood Nation, me and my guy Mike was talking. Man, we were saying in order to get just beautiful sights like this, sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. Isn't that right, Mike? Exactly. You got to, man. You got to take a chance. Yes, take a chance, take a risk. You know Live what I'm saying? Live life. Live life. I tell you what, guys, if y'all want to come visit this area with Nation, I hope y'all have on y'all walking shoes. Mm -hmm. Tell them, man. Yeah. You know, I after all that. Walk up. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Almost like, should have just stayed on your bike. No. <laughs> but it's worth to get that off, man. It's worth getting off the bike. Yeah, okay, fine. here we go. Rest area. Hold on, man. Look at my guy Mike Bracelet, man. Wait, let me see y'all. Man, this is what happens when you're rich. Wait a minute, put it next to the look at that. Look at that. Oh man, see, you can tell rich people, man. Look, I can't coordinate to save my life, and I'm black. Man, this is nice, man. Man, look at my guy Terry Plate, man. XXL, now that's cool. You wanna know the story behind that? Uh curious. They wouldn't let me have 4 x So Papa D, tell them what we're about to do real quick. Well, we're not going up to the parkway, we're just cutting that off and we're headed from here out to Fontana Dam. So we're going to 107, okay. we're going to highway go to Fontana Dam. So it's about 80 miles? To the next waypoint. Oh, we got really? 107 miles left total. Yay! They're going to it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Woo! Woo! -hoo. Ah! <laughs> Look at my guy Bob and Mike. Wait a minute, one more. Oh yeah, Mike right there, guys. All right, we own it.
Nation bros and bros, I'm telling you, man. If you can ride through this rain, hills, and swerve, you are a true rider at a whole nother level. These guys are like all true riders at a whole nother level, man. Look at this. Watch this. Look at that. Wait, let me see, show you this boot for a nation. Check that out. Look at this. <laughs> oh my lord. You know how many times I'm gonna drive these boots? <laughs> I'm gonna buy me some new boots, man. Just go, hang on, you had your rain girl on your whole shirt wet. Yep, you know what it comes from though? What? The mask. I had the mask and it was draining down because I had the mask tucked inside here. Uh huh. And and you know how we put the strap on our helmet? Yeah. And that's what went down in here. If I would have <laughs> had that out, oh, mm -hmm. I don't think I, I don't think I would have got it wet. Must have been what happened to me too then. Yeah. How you feeling, Mike? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, old, old oh yeah, man. Yeah, this is yeah. this. this it's done. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I hope she got some downy or something. Is it really? Yeah. You about to watch? I'm gonna wash my shirt, Jay. Why? Right, hold on. You mind my stuff throwing in there? All right. Yeah, man. Cause I don't, I don't want my, I don't want to throw this shirt away. Woo! All right, y'all, we about to, we about to, uh, just, we about to kick back for a little bit, and then two thumbs up to Bo and uh, Karen. Man, their friend is a chef, and she's gonna open a restaurant for us and just, man, cook us a really nice meal, buffet, all you can eat. Huh? Yeah. One nation. No, no. One nation. It's nice to be rich. When your no. shirt get wet, you can just throw it away. No, hey, that's my undershirts I threw away. This thing here, this thing was like 50 bucks or something like that. Uh oh. Hey, my wife would tell me you better dig in that trash can and find it. All right, check it out, guys. This is the laundry mat room here. Man, Jay, washing our clothes, man. Living that biker life. No. Man, because guess what, bro? If we don't watch this now, that rain is just going to make the clothes stink. I'm telling you, man. That's why we throw them stuff away. You know? But thank God I'm saving it now, y'all. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Toe <Toad> booby. <laughs> Carolina have bipolar weather, man. <laughs> this is bipolar weather. I'm telling you. Well, I need to try to get all four seasons. That is spooky. Oh, you don't know if to ride your bike or drive. Uh huh. Oh, that's her name, Shay. Yeah, her name's Shay. Oh. Or Shay Blaylock Anderson. Also. But her mom said, I wish y'all could have been at her restaurant. She's got rough in the system. Woo! Hallelujah. That, now, that, that's... Thank you, Shay. <laughs> Right. For, the, for this meal, we were about to. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What? And I think strawberry cake. I've never heard of chocolate cobbler. Okay. I've never heard of cobbler until yesterday. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd have thought living in the Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you're still in the South. Yeah. Now I knew sweet tea. I just never heard of Low Country Ball until I moved here. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Nobody has boiled peanuts up north. Yeah, exactly. I was like, what is this? Yep. Or right, and guess what? Shrimp and grits. I was like, why are we putting breakfast and lunch together? I like it. I like it. Oh yeah, it's good now. See where I'm from, we do spaghetti and fish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Wood Nation, all right, so check this out. We're talking about our next ride, possibly being the Keys. Is that right, the Keys, right? The Florida Keys. Please put in the comments, man, if you guys want us to do the Florida Keys next. Now, you guys know how I am, man. When I say us, that means all of you guys. You see what I'm saying? Man, so if you're down for the Florida Keys, just put in the comments, yes, for the Florida Keys, no, because you know what I'm saying? We like to see, like, who all is going to get involved, who's going to jump in, and it's possible that my guy Mike over there might give us away. Mike's going to be our wing, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Mike's gonna be our wing man, so yeah man, uh, we're possibly talking this year, but you guys, uh, you know what I'm saying, just kind of throw some suggestions in the comment man, 
especially if you guys already did the Keys before, uh, what's the prime time to actually go to the Florida Keys? You know what I mean? And just, man, give us some ideas, man. That would be awesome because we're ready to ride again, man. I'm telling you. So y'all let us know, man, and then we'll go from there. A motors tattoo, the wing wheel. Check that out, man. Put in the comments if y'all know what he's talking about. And yes, that'd be a good trivia, but all I can say is vroom vroom, you're arrested. There we go. <laughs> a little giveaway. All right, bros and bros, so we about to go to dinner, man. And uh, man, uh, me and my guy Jay, we just threw everything in the washer. Whites, black, colors, we just put it all in one, man. Now check this out, I only brought my boots and my flip flops. My boots are super wet. So this is what I'm literally about to wear. <laughs> About to hop on a bike just like this, y'all. Gotta do what you gotta do to get some food. Hey, man. Can you tell what nation how old you say you are? 68. 68, man. Got a birthday coming next month. Ride like he's Send 25. Gifts. Huh? Send gifts. Send gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Say cabbage. Ooh. There goes his cabbage. Woo! We brought our appetites now. This, this, this girl is a is a friend of um, or he's the daughter of a friend that Bo and I went to school with. We didn't know she owned a restaurant here, and so we're so excited. She she opened up just for a, a private party tonight. Wow! This is <laughs> awesome. I smell the food from here. You smell it, Rose? I'm hungry too. Yeah, I know that's right, bro. All right, we're following you, Miss Karen. Go ahead, Papa D. Oh my goodness! Wow. That ain't real. It's a real cabbage. Uh -uh. No, she said they got it at the oh, wow. farmer's market. I said I don't believe that's a real cabbage. Is this for us? No. <laughs> Man, it's a big old head of cabbage. Now, Papa D, she said that we could put put the tables. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you want to find ah, No. <laughs> Shay! Shay! Thank you, you are awesome, Shay. You, <laughs> you are awesome, Shay. Oh, we we'll appreciate you, seriously. And uh, I said, Shay, I knew you before you were born. <laughs> wow. Hey, Shay, how you doing? Shay, you are awesome. Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> yes. Shay, we brought our appetite now. <laughs> well, somebody in Nelson came here the first night. He was raving about the restaurant. They said they tried everything. On Friday, they said they tried everything but the cowboy cut pork chop. Yeah. And he mentioned his chocolate cobbler even in that conversation, so I'm looking forward to dinner. Shay, I he never. Said, of, course, of course, I had the filet. I made, I made strawberry cake. Oh, yeah. Wait, what is that? Oh yeah. yeah. Now I never heard of chocolate wife, cobbler, Shay. I, I ate, and I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that may be the new like the new song. Hey, that's it. I'm I'm gay, sister. I'm gay. So you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I take it to the community. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. All right, she'll take care of you. Okay. Wow. Look at this, man. What's up, bro? <laughs> Lord God, we just want to thank you for this gracious meal that we're about to receive. God, we just pray that you bless Shay and everyone in the kitchen just for blessing us with a special blessing. That you would bless uh, uh, Bo and Karen and just everyone here, God. Thank you for good fellowship. And we just pray, God, for a great meal, great rest, and everyone make it back to their uh, day to the destinations amen. safely and sound. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Let me show you guys the, the buffet. Is it buffet or buffet? Oh. One more, one more again, guys. I'm give me some taters and some gravy on it. Doesn't that, that gravy look good? It does. And it's thick, too. Oh, man. Man, that is beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Well, Nation would stay was here. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to come back here and get a picture of this, too. You want me to go get your phone? Where's it at? Yeah, yeah I got you. Come sit around on the table. I got you, man. I made rolls, right. I made strawberry cake, I made... Whoa! Make it, baby! Make it, baby! The only thing I have not made homemade is the ice cream. So we, got, we got ice cream? Oh, man. 
I'm trying to hear people eating now. Shake you, Rob. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Check that out, Wood Nation. Y'all, we having a ball. God, it's good, man. I don't even know what we got. What we got there, uh, Jay? Okay, cool. I, I didn't even hear him. I hope y'all did. No. All right, let's dive in. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Fine, so y'all call it everything now? Yeah. See, I'm fine. Camera <laughs> 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 <We're> off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the rainbow wood nation. Check that out. <sighs> Look at there. Isn't that neat? Like, how much more do you need? What other sign do you need? Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Shout out my wife Dottie. You're awesome. See you later. Woo! Thank you, Dottie, for sharing him with us, man. This dude is awesome. And he's a rider. Does she ride all the time? Oh, yeah. that's why he's able to ride good. I got my stuff. What's the? What you got? Oh! I wanted you to bless. Why you late? Wait, wait too late to tell me, Jay. I know. I've been in the bag all week. Oh man! I just got it. I got it late. What about that? Jay got the IBA, he's official. Yeah, right, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, you got it, yeah. Michael get here soon. Yeah, mine's, mine's waiting for me at home. Wow, yeah, yeah, his is already came. Man, this is a blessing, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. Cause remember I asked you, I said, what's going on, man? They, they got your information. I guess I sent a, I sent a check. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> man, so you gonna put it on there? Yeah, man. Show these people what you work for, Jay. <laughs> man. What you say, Jay? You wanted the blessing? I wanted the blessing. Okay, let me, let me see. Hot tamale. Now look. <laughs> no, let me see, man, for real. Wow. Man, see, hey, bros and bros, what nation? This is what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody ever tell Jay he did not complete the Iron Butt Association Challenge. Here's the proof in the pudding, and he has his patch. You gonna put that patch? Cause I see you rocking the leather sometimes. You gonna put it on your leather? Nice, nice. So man, let's just pray over this man. God's good blessing and protection. Lord, we just pray your protection, God. Uh, not only just over the sign, but over uh, my buddy Jay Bike as he traveled uh, to go from east to west, north to south. We pray that you go before him, God, that he have a safe trip in his travels now and in the future to come, God, that he make it to his destination safe and ride back to home safe. Every ride, every trip, in Christ's name, amen. That's what it's about, man. Wow, my God, Jay. Wait, wait, let me show you what Hold on. See, y'all, look what y'all do this. And then I got Michael. Michael's in his uh, house waiting for him to get back home. Check it out. Yeah! There it is, right there. Woo -wee. But these, these are the new ones here, guys, right here. Because if you notice, mine said at the bottom here, when Jay put it on his, it's going to show at the top. All right. Oh, well, nope. My apologies. My apologies. Actually, it's two sided. You can put it there, show it at the very bottom, or you can flip it. All right, depending on how your uh, license tag is. Cause yeah, you're gonna get the same thing here. Yeah. Yep, so yours will be like that, or you can uh, flip it. Yeah, no, that's how I gotta do it. Like this one here? Yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome, bro. Show on the bottom. Man, so let me just say to you, congratulations, Michael. Seriously, man. Yeah. Wood Nation, congratulate my guy, Mike. Yeah, His yeah, iron yeah. butt is waiting for him at home, baby. <laughs> but got <I> disco. <sighs> Jay like, man, bring my tag. No. <laughs> Jay, that's two-sided, so. Yeah, you should do the, the bottom. Yep. This is awesome, bro. Woo. My God, man, real talk. That's what I'm talking about. Look at here, man. All these IVAs right here, man. Wait a minute. So, what nation? My God, Michael said nobody else bike has what he has on the front. Now he told me to look under the headlight. I was looking at the screw right here, and then I see something dangling. I said. <laughs> I'll let you guys put two or two together. I don't think anybody else bike has that. <laughs> Why am I giving you a five? <laughs> no. um, so this right here yeah. is why I ride. Um, yep. I love the roads and the roads are great. You can find great roads in any state in this country. But you can't always Except find Kansas. This. Is that where? Except Kansas. Except Kansas. Now, <laughs> let's see. Uh, highway 450 down the bottom part of Kansas is pretty decent, but it's still 
See, Don, you got him going now. <laughs> he was just about to give a sentimental speech. Now he's talking about highways. <laughs> Would you buy them, them cattle lots out there on that? Road. <laughs> My goodness gracious. So, I, 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 I was a solo ride in 2010 and I came back that way because I wanted to go through Dodge City, Kansas, right? Uh, and in Kansas, you can camp in a rest area for two nights for free. So, I see how y'all have to pull me back in. I'd be like, that's all. Lord. <laughs> Man, like when y'all be like, come on, let's go, let's go. I got there and they had a pavilion thing like that and I hung my hammock under that above a picnic table. Right? Nobody was there when I got there. A trucker pulled in the middle of the night and parked right there and had his auxiliary power unit. Papa D is awesome, man. But I, I was paramedic for 30 years. I could sleep anywhere, right? So that was okay. And it was cool. So that was good. But the wind changed direction early in the morning. Yeah, that's me. Uh, and I, that, that wind was like that's me. From a big, big, you won't forget. <laughs> Cattle, cattle lot. Like, I mean, they, were, they were stacked in there like this, and it was huge. And that whiff of that manure and stuff, oh my. <laughs> that was fragrant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, it was very fragrant. <laughs> Papa D, you was giving a sentimental speech, man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great roads everywhere but you can't get this everywhere yeah and i mean from everything that happened this week it fell into place when we first started doing it i mean have any idea i mean no and then i kept trying to figure it out because i have so many different things where i mentioned it and people would comment on different videos and i couldn't keep track yeah. of everything and then when we did that live i tried to figure out how to count it out over and i couldn't figure out how to get to the comments and disappeared all right everybody give me a thumbs up i counted what was going on but i didn't write anything down because I was so excited about trying to do it. And so when it disappeared, I was like, well, I think there was this many. Then I started thinking the people I knew were coming because people would send me, and it, it got pretty accurate as we got closer to here. Yeah. Well, I wrote a few more than I expected, but it, it all worked out. It really did, and, man. I had I a ball. I was about that bought a surplus 45 cubic flathead. Uh, they called them service car, I believe is what they call them. Had the little right, cart on the back. Old. Well, he threw me and my cousin Richard up on the back of that thing, and away we go. Nothing to hang on to. I'm sitting there, when you know, holding on with nothing. And uh, we went down the end of the road and come back, scared to death. And I've wanted to ride a motorcycle ever since. <laughs> and <laughs> so, fast forward a few years. Now, I've told everybody I got family here. My uh, my dad's family is here in Graham County in Robbinsville, Mama over in Bryson in uh, Swain County. So we were always traveling the gorge over there, you know, back and forth to grandparents' house. And um, I, I wasn't driving yet. I remember I was, my dad was driving. I wasn't old enough to drive, but I, there was three motorcycles in front of them that was electric light. You didn't see that right here back then. All right. And so that was a treat just to watch them. Right? And my dad commented, now he didn't ride, but he commented, he said, that's some good riders up there. And I said, well, how can you tell? And he said, well, you just watch them. He said, they're smooth and they're setting up the corners and everything, you know, and, and he didn't, I mean, I don't think he ever rode a motorcycle, but he could tell by watching them, wow. they were doing it right. And uh, so I always uh, had it in my mind that someday I was gonna ride the gorge on a motorcycle and, do my best to do it right, which I've ridden it, you know, bunches of times. But I want you to know it did this heart good today awesome. to get to follow y'all through the gorge. Oh, wow. big old heart! Awesome, yeah. right here, Don. Where you at, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Wow, that's awesome. All right, morning. What's going on, uh, Wood Nation Bros and Bros? Good morning. It is Monday. Got my guy Disco here, man. What nation? Woo! About to get us some grub, man. Get it. And then hit the road. Everybody has already left. My guy, uh, Papa D, Van, Terry, Stacy, uh, Don, and a couple of other ones. I believe Mike as well. They're about to hit the uh, falls. Uh, what kind of falls did uh, Papa D say that that is they're headed to? The waterfall? 
I don't know the name of it, but to the dam. The dam, yeah, they're about to hit the dam, so that's that's pretty cool. But we're, what we're going to do, guys, grab us some breakfast. Um, I got Mike about to roll back with us because he's in Florida. It's going to be me, Mike, Disco, and then uh, my guy Ross the Cross, and then uh, my guy Jay over there. So what we're about to do, guys? We just left the hotel. We're about to get us some breakfast here, man. And after that, we own it, man. I felt a light drizzle, so I went on and just put my jacket on. But uh, after that. Man, we about to hit that road. I'm telling you, hey, look, everybody feel it, bro. It's like, hey, hey, but breakfast first. No. <laughs> what nation, y'all want to see how true bikers eat? Y'all want to see how we live? You want to see how we breed? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you have any great pecan? No. <laughs> <laughs> nation bros and bros look man we are pretty much out of the mountains the hills the curves the swerves the turns lord jesus we're close to the flatlands now baby it's on man but wood nation i'm gonna uh get with the other fellas and uh just ask them how was their experience and uh what would they uh suggest to you guys but i'll definitely kick it off man my experience great oh my gosh man just the camaraderie with everyone and just just that bond man like my guy papa d said you can ride anywhere but you can't get what we had yesterday and day before that and upon our arrival time you can't get that every day so cherish those moments man that was man that was a blessing man you know what i'm saying even i'll be honest you guys know i share my experience with you guys i was uh i was spooked out man when i first arrived here man i mean uh i i led most of the ride uh coming into uh north carolina and uh like i said earlier um when the gentleman overheard us talking it says we're about to approach the the hills and the mountains man i asked my guy jay bake to take over so jay took over because i knew that that was one of my weaknesses now understand just because it's one of my weaknesses doesn't mean i can't ride it but i just prefer not to lead the ride into that you know what i'm saying because i know i'm gonna be breaking and slowing down etc so my guy jay took over and did a phenomenal job so I, I let the crew know my strengths and my weakness as far as riding so you know they won't be shocked in a pod like what 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 y'all what are you doing all right well nation this is my guy mike man he's rolling back with us mike what advice would you give someone that wants to ride the tail of the dragon man and uh tell them just a little bit about your experience well <clears throat> my experience was it was phenomenal as what we say um the curves the scenery yeah. I think the biggest important thing is make, make sure you ride your ride, take your time, yeah. um, practice what you've learned, you know, that getting your uh, set speed before going into the apex, yeah. looking through the curb is vital. Oh, good point. I said it's vital. Um, even with the... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> even with the rain, that was a challenge in itself, uh, mm -hmm. doing, and riding in a group. So there's a lot of different factors you got to take into play. When you're riding the, the dragons, uh, telling you ride in North Carolina, period. But an awesome experience, awesome. Wow, awesome, man. Appreciate you, bro. No problem. What you got to say to him, Ross? Your experience on Teller the Dragon, and what advice would you give someone that? On the flat land, we're going to that. You just got to keep a little bit more focus than uh, you would on the flat land, because you kind of 
can't be focused on what you're doing than what the scenery is so much. So true. Uh, it goes to take two seconds and it's over with. Fiddle with your phone, fiddle with something. That, that minute and you're in and out, in and out, and up and down, then slowing down, speeding up. But keep it focused, you're good. Yep. Keep it golden. And keep a shiny side up. And a rubber side down. Y'all know what it be. Clown. Boom, boom. And what about the rain, though, Ross? What, what, what about that in the mountains? Was that an experience within itself? Yeah, it was an experience in itself. There are a big old uh, raindrop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. big. <laughs> Man. It hit your face. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, he, he's right. The raindrops were so heavy because they was coming off the trees and the mountains. I mean, it's like we were having a fight with the rain. But would you trade the experience? Oh no, I <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Check my guy Jake Bake, man. Jake Bake, what advice would you give someone that wants to ride the tail of the dragon and ride uh, North Carolina Hills? And what was your experience like? All right, uh, the advice I would give is uh, practice before you get there. Uh, slow speed, uh, we didn't come out of second gear or third gear, so. Uh, Definitely practice when you get there. Overall, I had a good time. Uh, good experience. If you uh, rode sports bikes before, like like myself, uh, it feels easy. <laughs> it's just to be honest. You know, a lot of leaning and turning. Uh, most, a lot of Harley guys not used to that. So, mm -hmm. uh, sports bike guys, it's very easy. So, uh, like I said, I practice when you get there. And overall, fun, man. I didn't have no, no complaints. <laughs> Now what about the rain in the mountains and everything? Was that what's your? Ah oh, man, the rain. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad other other than the fog. Yes. The fog, fogging up your glasses and uh, the vision. Yeah. But, and you will get wet, you get wet. So. So true. That's it. Would you trade the experience? Nah, nah. <laughs> It'll be a minute before I go back. Hey, I know. Hey, it'll be a minute before I go back as well. I'm telling you, I love it. I love the hills. I love North Carolina. You guys are awesome. Y'all rock. But man, I won't see that rock for a long time, man. There he is. Ah, hey, look at my guy just go. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> man, you rock, man. Just go. What advice did you give someone, man? Uh, uh, about Teller the Dragon and then your experience. What would you want to talk to him about this show? I would just say, uh, first time for me, just take your time. Mm -hmm. uh, don't let nobody rush you. Ride mm -hmm. your own ride. Like they say, stay true to the form. Just ride your own ride. My experience, uh, I was nervous at first. Mm -hmm. But once you get on it, just take your time, you know. It definitely honed my skills a little bit better on handling. Uh, you know, such, such as riding the curve now, so definitely it taught me a lot. I learned a lot. And from watching the other motorcyclists ride, you know, seeing what they're doing. So it definitely has taught me that. You said watching the other riders too? Yeah, watching yeah, the I other riders. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. You know, watching the other riders made me a lot comfortable also. Mm-hmm. You know? So true. So, uh, hey, if you ever get a chance to go and, and get an experience like that, yeah, uh, it's, it's a great feeling. It is. It's, it's definitely now, a what's your thoughts about the rain in the mountains though? Like while we were doing them sharp turns, everything? Well, that 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 helped me hone my skills too. <laughs> <I know>. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> had it been raining, you know, you know, had not it been raining, you know, we, we probably wouldn't have did it, you know, but yeah. uh yeah. It, it definitely uh was different. But like I say, mm -hmm. we enjoyed ourselves and had a good time. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we can always talk about, you yep. know. Riding in the rain. So and we, true. And we rode it good in the rain. We rode it good, then we rode. We rode that thing good in the rain like we was pros. So let me ask you, would you trade this experience? Not, not for anything in the world. Woo! Not for anything in the world. Woo! Man. So you see what I'm saying, Wood Nation, man? Everybody had a phenomenal time and they would not trade that experience. Now, granted, I know you're full of zeal, because I was as well. Like excitement, you ready to get it, you ready to get her done. But man, please be smart and use wisdom at the same time. I'm telling you guys, you know, and I think a good road captain really, what do you think about that, y'all? A good road captain helps help set the scene as well. Oh, yeah. And Papa D rocked that oh, thing, yeah. man, you know? Yeah, yeah, set the tone and everything. You didn't have to worry about nowhere to go. Exactly. 
Yeah, I think he had the hardest job, man, because he had to navigate, look at the uh, GPS. All we had to do was ride and follow him. <laughs> Man, y'all follow my guy Papa D channel, man. It's Papa D Rides. His YouTube channel, awesome dude, man. All right, y'all, we back on it. bros and bro us god is good man we made it my guy ross the cross got off the exit he's at home and right before that my guy jay bay got off the exit he's home and then right for that right before that my guy disco got off the exit he's home so now my guy mike is uh headed to florida so what i did man i just stopped here at the dealership you know what i'm saying so uh mike can meet everybody that he always see on youtube you know what i'm saying he can actually meet him in person and uh what's up guys <laughs> What's up, man? He can actually meet him in person, man. So, <laughs> he's got another subscriber and a supporter. What's up, bro? Just say, say blessings. Say, say blessings. Hey, it ain't nothing but a blessing. <laughs> ain't Thank you, bro. That's what's up. Appreciate you, my guy. How y'all doing? <laughs> well, they should support us everywhere, man. Such a blessing, man, for real. But yeah, man, I'm uh, run, uh, running here with Mike. Introduce them to everybody, man, and after that, uh, Mike's gonna hop back on 95 to head to Florida. I'm gonna ride with him a piece of a piece of the way because, man, I think that's pretty awesome, man. When bikers come to visit you or you guys go somewhere, and you know what I'm saying, just hop on the road with them, kind of ride with them a piece of a way, you know what I'm saying, and then kind of branch off. I think that's cool. That shows, you know what I'm saying, that that brotherhood, you know what I'm saying, or sisterhood. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> man, come on, for sure, man. On, man. For sure. That's Mike. Mike, this boo. You know, that's Eric Harley, dude. <laughs> How you doing, bro? What's up, man? Yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Was the, uh... the dragon? Oh, it was an experience. Yeah, yeah. World all the way to. Well, uh, the dragon, what? Uh, dry Falls. It was like eight or ten oh, waterfalls. Yeah, oh, yeah. Parkway. Yeah, Shrine Parkway and. Uh, the hills, dude, and the mountains, that was spooky, dude. Yeah. yeah, so this is Mike, he always watched the channel, he always right. see you doing your... <laughs> so I said, man, I wanna introduce him to everybody. He's gonna hop back on 95, I'm gonna ride with him a piece of the way. Okay. He's in uh, Gainesville, Florida, man. Awesome dude. <laughs> All right, y'all, we about to go ahead and hit it because look at those clouds, man.
nation bros and bros. Man, this weather? This is why, thank God, man, I have gotten so much better in riding in the rain. And it sounds like, I hope I'm not about to get a cold or something, because that's what it sounds like. I'm about to run upstairs and take me some Tylenol, like YT suggested, because, man, I am just, I, I was so soaked and wet, bros and bros. I was soaked, man. I literally pulled Equal in, threw up all my clothes and threw it in the dryer. Man, look, I have Equal on a, on a jack stand, man, because I don't, I don't want to lean her on the kickstand and all that water that's on here kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some of it will roll off, but I don't want it to get in the uh, electrical compartments or anything. I mean, it may not. I just want to do it like this here. Set, set her up like that so she can just dry. I got both of my saddlebags open just to get air. Oh, let me show you guys what I got, bro. Look at that, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And check this out. Would you believe I still have yet to go inside of Deals Gap? Like, as soon as we were at the uh, Deals Gap area, Tree of Shame, I crossed over to uh, Tell of the Dragon Hill Boy. Because, man, I was like, why would I go in Deals Gap? And that says Tell of the Dragon. So, I still haven't been inside of Deals Gap yet. But Tell of the Dragon is awesome, man. Uh, the young lady there, Michelle, was awesome. And look what I got, bro. This is way too cool. I had something bigger, but it wouldn't fit my saddlebag, man. So I got to find a place here in the garage. Because, you know, I'm really not that guy to hang up everything in the garage. But this, I'm going to put this somewhere in the garage, bro. I earned this. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to put this up somewhere. And, uh, yeah, uh, of course, you guys know I just got in. Now, wifey is still at work, so I'm going to show wifey what I got. Let's check it out, bros and bros. This what I, this what I got, wifey. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. US 129, 318 curves and 11 miles. Look at that. Smoky Mountain Outpost. Wow. Harley. Yep, that's just from the Harley dealership, man. So, and on the back is probably like all the information and all this stuff. But I don't know why she's on the, oh man, I got to try to hold the camera and show that at the same time. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll probably be rocking this to, uh, well, wifey will be rocking this to church Sunday. And I bought me a couple shirts, which one you guys saw got super soaked today. But do I really care about getting super wet in the rain, man? Honestly? Now that I know how to ride in the rain, bros and bros, not really, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my guy Mike made a good point. He said, the rain gear pretty much does nothing, man, at all. The only thing that was dry literally was the rain gear. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just bite the bullet and uh, go ahead and buy the Harley rain gear and see, what that, uh, see if that'll make the difference. But uh, hopefully, I, I believe my guy Mike, you know what I'm saying, uh, has made it home safe, you know what I'm saying? By the time this video was up, I'm sure he had made it home safe. But uh, yeah, man, I thought that was just cool, man, because you know what I'm saying, when you go out and visit someone on your bike, and you know what I'm saying, that person is about to leave and hit the highway, and you got your bike too, man, just ride with them like a good 20, 30 miles, 50 miles, you know what I'm saying, because man, look, you see this? If my guy Mike was on the highway by himself, you know what I'm saying, it'd be less visibility for him, you know what I'm saying? So by me and Mike riding, you know what I'm saying, together, it was more visible. And guess what, man? Hey, Mike, y'all, you see how we was rocking that suicide, y'all? Hey, I couldn't record it, man, because I couldn't mess with this camera in the rain like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Mike was riding suicide, man, side by side. Hey, of course, it's like, hey, you know, get out the way, man. Because it was raining, it was coming down. I'm like, hit the throttle, Mike. Mike's like, I got you, bro. Man, we was hitting it, man. Oh. That was a cool thing. I was like, man, I wish I could record this, but I wasn't taking my hands off the handlebars, bros and bros. But man, look, I had a phenomenal time. <sighs> I, I'm not even gonna start naming names because I know me, I will forget. I want to thank you all, everyone that is a part of Wood Nation, everyone that is a Wood Nation supporter. Thank you guys, those who showed up. Thank you guys, those who desire to shop, to, to shop, 
Those who desire to show up, uh, what? Those who desire to show up but couldn't, thank you guys as well. I mean, even down to the simplest things as comments. Thank you guys as well. We literally had a ball. Yes, we got rained on. Yes, the power was out at the hotel. Yes, we did not have any AC. But I will not trade it for anything in the world, bros and bro it. The laughs, the jokes, the camaraderie, the brotherhood, the sisterhood. Oh my gosh, man, this was awesome. Man, what? And then two thumbs up to uh, Shay for opening her restaurant for everyone. Oh man, and the food was mm, magnificent. <laughs> I really don't know what else to say, bros and bros, because you guys just seen a glimpse of what we experienced. And it was a blessing, man. It truly was a blessing. I, I will not take back all of this rain. Oh, look at Wifey coming in. Look at Wifey. Be careful with Roja now. But I mean, I will not trade any of this in the world. Isn't that right, Daddy Girl? Yeah, right, Daddy Girl. Y'all know I couldn't sign out, man, without Wifey saying something. That's right. Hollywood Nation, this is Wifey. <laughs> and, um, well, I laughed because Puppy just said my name, but <laughs> I, I just, yeah, YP. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I just introduced myself as YP. But um, I really appreciate y'all's prayers and supports and uh, well wishes um, toward Hubby and his group. And I know that he had a great time and um, was looking forward to sharing more of his experience with you guys. So. Thanks again um, for your support and prayers. Oh, and on that note, blessings, man. Ah.